Bom, bom, bom. Oh, the flickering is happening. God damn it! Oh? Toll mo crazy. <laughs> I like that emote. Tolmos. Never heard, never heard of that streamer, but his emote is fucking banger. Yo, what's up, Sir Ragnarok? The meme creator himself. Have not seen you in here in quite some time. It's been like a week. Team Liquid and the red line oh. in the middle. I have the wrong the settings on. I'm, I'm average combined rolling. kills per minute. So, the first three weeks, when I combined these three things, they had the lowest combined kills per minute of any team I could find in any of the major regions. Yep. You at subbed point, at Capistrano Valley High School yesterday. I'm a sub at Capital Unified School District. Immediately picked That's it funny. Up the next week, but then old habits kind of. Are you saying that because you know that I was at the. What's like I was interesting to this and went to high school in the capital USD numbers you see as soon as playoffs start one point but I didn't go to Capistrano Valley I went to uh circle 1.18 I think I, I went did to San Juan Hills yeah, High School no. super good uh are some of the oh you've been busy with uni I see we've ever seen but just good like luck sir wait where are you from? from essentially down here to up here throughout the split is something you really don't see that often because they've only had no nah, ruler's not live right now essentially Double the amount of action. That oh, I see. I see. Which is pretty cool. So I've some people are sick of hearing been so long this, since I, I went back players to my hometown. I don't talk a lot about how they were always like, I don't remember even friends. where everything is like relative to each <laughs> and, other. Ghost Stallions. And, and wow. I, like, um, T has talked about somebody it else knows. Bit. They've talked about it publicly where they're like, we just it's weird though. When I was growing up, there was no Asians there. I'm not sure. I was the only Asian kid at my school. There was like two others actually process is if you're if you are just like a korean guy named cameron going on um and a something that they've been half chinese girl named have said about them is that they were always kind i already of forgot her name this actually aggressive about playing around their bot lane in particular and having a much higher combined kills per minute in scrims i'd wager that most teams if not all teams are have from new york combined kills per minute in scrims Definitely. but the the, New York um, had some really amazing like food. Incredible canyon between what they were I'm doing a, in LCS and what they were. I'm a doing LA guy myself, playoffs. but yeah. really I appreciate New York for what it is. Really condensed, NTL, really NTL, busy, NTL, NTL. really the, the idea active. We've heard is that Team Liquid's been doing it in scrims regardless. But like, man, so I can't imagine like, driving there. I think the idea driving the seems miserable in New York. I would, I would so much rather just walk. Just extremely aggressive regardless, and just played how they want to play is probably like vindication for spawn and the coach you promise you're not a stalker Liquid jesus constantly talking about we just want to bring out this the way we play in scrims on yeah stage, like just flatly you just followed um, me around to my high school I, I remember APA to the la area where i live you might and peer through my windows once in a while but you know you're not a stalker like, just not a stalker playing with you might have and scrapping as much as all me to the gym today just just get a quick peek like but not a stalker comfortable doing it and it takes some time to feel comfortable <clears throat> how are you my pookie bear you just don't want to make a mistake <laughs> the one mistake that you make on stage like can feel extremely bad for your teammates where did this pookie also, bear like, should come from it's actually mad funny mentality around it so i like the fact that they have definitely i'm your goat because i joined 10th we'll place cl play to play league dude that was actually really really, really fun series <laughs> that was insane i think it was the bloodiest series in LCS history. In terms of total number of kills, but actually their most recent series was a slightly higher. Yo guys. Okay, there it is. Craft. So they've had that. It's time. It's Laudal time. It's Laudal time. Yo. Okay, so ranged mana, not bot lane, not male. And somewhat human. So, I'm thinking Morgana, female, 
Not a support, not bot lane. Someone said Quinn? Yeah, Quinn, Quinn, Quinn would be good. Oh shit, so it's jungle, right? Or mid, jungle or mid. Um, I'm thinking Oriana. Is that, is Oriana a human? Oh no, sorry, she's a golem. Okay, but it is a mid laner. It is a mid laner, so maybe like Syndra. Fuck. Human magic born? LeBlanc? LeBlanc? Really? I don't, I think LeBlanc? Nah. Oh, what? LeBlanc is magically altered? Wait, no, no. It's not. It's actually not LeBlanc. Dude, what? Is it Annie? Is Annie magically altered? Is Annie magically altered, guys? No? Cassio is... No, Cassio can't be it. It's human magic born. Lissandra. Oh, Lissandra. That's a good one. Dude, what the fuck? What is this? 2010. Okay, so I'm thinking like old champions that could go mid. Old champions. That's like Annie, Anivia, but like Anivia is not human. Ari? Ari. Oh, Ari is a good one. Nope. Nope. Ari came out in 2011. And Zyra is a support. Zoe or Lux? Oh, it's Lux. It's Lux. Thank you. Thank you. That's 100% Lux. Wait, what? It's not. What? It's not Zoe, guys. Look at the release date. Look at the release date. Is Noxus... Bro, what? Who is this? What? How many female... Dude, fuck it. I'm just going to start like... Wait, what? LeBlanc? Okay, hold on. LeBlanc, Eddie, Lissandra, Ari, Lux. Like, we're, we're going down the list. I, I guess I have... I picked Morgana already. Zyra? Zyra's a support, guys. Karma! Oh my god. Wait, what? No, Karma's a support. Fuck. Cassio? Are you serious? Cassio? Really? Okay. This game sucks. This game sucks. This game sucks. How is Cassio just a magically altered human? Does that make any sense to you guys? How is she just a magically altered human? She's clearly like a different species, no? Ah, uh, no. Fucking this, like, dude. It's her lore? I don't know, bro. Azir, you think you were born to rule, but I was born to live free. Uh, wait. Is it Talia? No. Zareth, oh. No. Is it Nasus or Renekton? No. Who, who else is from Sharima? Who else is from, like, is Kasante from Sharima? No, he's from, like, his own little place. Skarner? No. Someone says Sivir. Okay, you guys. Azir, you think you were born oh. to rule me, but I was- I thought Kasante was from his own region. I didn't know he was from Sharima. Bro, I had that. I'm trolling. Dude, I won't, like, I'm never doubting myself ever again. Katarina's Q, right? Wait, what? What is that? Um, like two, is this, is this also Kazante? With his like Natofos? No? Oh, this is Huey. Oh, I, I've never played Huey before. Subject disaster. Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, it's his Q. Oh shit, I'm terrible. I've never played Huey. Okay, so an umbrella with rain? Rain, like, Misfortune, maybe? Misfortune? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm like that. 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 Holy. Nice. Nice. All right, let's see. So, evolution stage one. Evolution stage one, but it's bigger than a P. Oh, sorry, it's taller than a Pikachu, but it's it's um 
like less weight than a Pikachu. Taller, but less weight than a Pikachu. Would that be a Charmander? No. Mm. So it's between a Charmander and a Pikachu in terms of height. And it's very small. Yeah, Bellsprout, that would be a good idea. Uh, wait, no, the Bellsprout's too tall. But it is it does weigh less. Oh, shit. Um, we're not really narrowing anything down right now. I'm going to go with Ghastly. No, it's not a ghost either. Wow, Jesus. Um, so it is a dual type Pokemon. I guess we can go Magikarp. Like Magikarp is re roughly, dude, it's not water. Dude, it's not water, ghost, grass, fire, electric. What am I missing? Fighting? What am I missing? Fighting? I guess I'm missing rock. So I'm missing, I'm missing like Geodude or something. But no, Geodude would not be the fuck. I fucked up the weight. I fucked up the weight. Uh, dude, what, what am I missing here? I'm missing psychic and flying, I think. This guy says Paris. Isn't this a water type Pokemon? It, it wouldn't be, right? Or poison. This is a poison type, I think. Oh, nice try. Dragon? Eevee? Eevee's, an, is Eevee's a dual type, guys? I don't think it would be Eevee. Eevee's a dual type. Or Eevee's not a dual type, I should say. Abra. Abra's psychic. Let me see. Psychic? Do we have psychic? No? Oh my... Dude, what is this? Dratini. Nope, not a dragon. And dude, it has to be a dual type. It has to be a dual type. Bro. Like, is it really just a Pidgey? No. Oh. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It's a normal type Pokemon. Um. Is is Diglett is Diglett a normal type Pokemon or is he something else? Could be Doduo as well. But but uh, Mankey. Mankey. Oh, Mankey's a fighting. You guys are grieving me. You guys are grieving me. Someone says Meowth. Meowth is a normal type Pokemon, right? Fuck. Dude, okay, dude. Like, seriously, how many guesses are we in? This is crazy. This is crazy. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna go far. Fa what is a fairy type Pokemon? What do you what what is going on, guys? I can't get anything. Wait, is it we we've narrowed it down, we've narrowed it down a little bit. It's a pink Pokemon. Wait, is it is Mew a pink Pokemon? Yo, is Mew a is Mew a normal type Pokemon or is he not? Is it Mew? Is pure psychic. Oh, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. We guessed. How many guesses was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 guesses. Is that good? Is it good to guess 15 times before you get the answer? Um, <laughs> first try, flawless. Um, it's like a, it's, it's like a fucking bird. It's a guy. It's like, it's like a little. It, what is a gold duck? Gold duck. Is it? Is it not? Wait, no. It, I don't think it's a gold duck. Is it? I don't think so. I don't. Think, it kind of looks like a gold duck though. Is it a gold duck? Really? No, you're trolling. Chat, come on, step up, step up. I actually have no idea what this is, by the way. I have absolutely no idea what this is. For Ralligator? Guys, it's not, it's a, a, a original 151. Is it a Tentacruel? It doesn't look like a Tentacruel. Is it a Vaporeon? Oh! Fuck, it's kind of close. It's Blastoise? Seriously? Seriously? I'm not even going to guess Blastoise. I'm not even going to guess it. What is this? What is this? Someone says Squirtle? No, you're trolling. This is no... Oh my god. You're you're wasting my guesses straight up. Toad... Horsey? Dude, guys, no, you're trolling me. This is not a horsey. This is not a horsey. Are you kidding me? This is, You're trolling. What is... It's like a fucking, like... He's, like, on his legs, guys. He has legs. It's not a polyworld either, unless the colors are just completely off. War turtle? Really? No, I don't. I really don't think it's a war turtle. 
It's a Cedra? Oh? I don't think so either. Let's try. Oh shit, you're crazy. Oh shit, you're crazy. Someone in YouTube chat actually, wait. No, wait. Everyone in, was saying Cedra. God damn it. Dude, I don't know how I was supposed to get this. This, th this thing looks hella goofy. Okay, next one. Which Pokemon has a description? It's hind legs, which have harder than diamond hooves. Kick back at any presence it senses behind it. Um, okay, so is it like the Ponyta or like... I mean, it, it, is, is this the only horse Pokemon in the entire... Oh, yeah, okay, well... That is troll because there's only one fucking Pokemon with hooves. Holy, am I allowed to show this one on stream? I I didn't know this picture made it public. What the? Um. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Smash dual time, smash dual time. <laughs> smash dual time. Guess today's Smash Bros character. Okay. Who should I guess first, guys? Who should I guess first? Okay, someone says Marth. Marth, uh, everyone, okay, a couple people said Marth. Mario. Okay, Mario has more votes right now than Marth. Okay, so far we have a male. That was or originally, the character is origin date is above Mario's. Uh, he's also bigger than Mario, and he's not a human. So it's a male that's not a human, that is not in the Mario universe, so it can't be Bowser. Um, that has an origin of, and, and also is, is bigger than Mario. That's actually a big one. Ha, he has to be bigger than Mario. So yeah, actually it's a good, good one to guess Link. It's a good one to guess Link. Oh fuck. It's not a human. It's not a human. It's not a human. It's a non-human that's bigger than Mario. I think Ridley is a good idea. I think Ridley is a good idea, right? Fucking unknown species. Fuck you. Guys, stop guessing humans. He, it's not a human. It's not going to be... It, it might be Fox. It might actually be Fox. No joke. It might be Fox. Nope. Nope, not Fox. Damn it. It's not... Okay, so it can't be Donkey Kong because it's not from the Mario universe. King Cruel. King Cruel is a good one. King K. Rule. That's a good one. Fuck. Not from the Donkey Kong universe either. So what what have we narrowed it down to, guys? Like I have not narrowed it down at all. He's he's between the size of Mario and how the fuck is Mario only weigh ninety eight kilos and and this fat motherfucker is one thirty three? What? Okay, hold on, Ridley. Uh, what, what what universe is he from? Metroid. How, how is the weight so fucked up? This guy? This guy only weighs nine more pounds than Mario? What? Now, we have to be trolling with these weights. We have to be trolling with these weights. Rob. Rob could be a good one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I would never guess Rob. I don't even, I even remember that guy exists. What is this? Is this like Minecraft? What the f What the fuck is how how is how is Minecraft Steve in in the game? Minecraft Steve has a fucking final smash? Wait, is it is not Ness? How does he how does he get the Nintendo hat? How does he get the Nintendo hat? Did he call Oh, 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 thank you. I would not have got that. I would not. Without chat, I, I'm, I will be lost there. Okay, so it's like an old man or he has like white hair. Um, So who's like an old man that's in, uh, in Smash? Robin? I don't know. Old man with a sword or like white hair with a sword? Sephiroth. Oh, that's a good one. Wow, I wouldn't. I didn't even know Sephiroth was a Smash character. Who the fuck knew that Seth, Sephiroth was was a, like what Smash is he even in, guys? Uh, what? What is this? 
Someone says Rosalina. Okay, you are a fucking nerd. But respect. But but like respect, but you're a nerd. But wow. Like who is this? What what game is Rosalina from? <laughs> but you're a nerd. But thank you. Mario Galaxy. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm not a nerd. Guys, like you don't actually think I'm a nerd, do you? That would be so cringe if I was a nerd. I'm totally not. I'm a jock. Are even or behind in gold <laughs> at 15 minutes. Note how all of these games are the color of losing. Oh, Guys, like we don't actually think so I'm a nerd, right? So this whole year, <laughs> if they're even or behind at gold at 15 minutes, they do not win the game. Right. Okay. Pretty straightforward. That's tragic. Yeah. Uh, so I, I kept looking and I wanted to see what the C9 line was. So I checked. What do I have a drink? Um, kind of the um, rest of the games. So if they're a 2,000 gold ahead. Ice cop, ah, ice cold brew with vanilla. Ah. Anyway. Wait, one uh, more hour to LCS? No, no, no. It's 30 minutes, no? It's 30 minutes. They Legit. They like a lot of their games. You can see the blues are the wins and they've lost two of them. Did I see the C9 for Zerk video? No, I didn't. Um, gold or more ahead. So even where is it? Gold lead isn't guaranteeing them victory. Where is it? What does guarantee them victory is if we go to the next slide, they are undefeated. Why Berserker is still him? Wait, C9 Berserker outspaces Stix8 to the moon? Let me see this. Cadral Clips. It's pretty tanky, you know? MS has stopwatch, he has stopwatch. He does have stopwatch. Big. That's enough time for Tom Kench. Oh, Stix A. Oh, Stix A. Oh, Stix A. Oh, Berserker just auto spaced him into the ground. Um, that was like pretty cool, but realistically, it, it's, 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 it's Jinx. Oh, Stix A. Oh, Berserker just auto spaced him into the ground. It's Jinx with it's Jinx with a little tempo. This is an old clip, yeah. No, guys, actually, though, I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something. This is so cringe, but I was looking at, I, I randomly clicked on one of my old videos. Let me just, let me just show you guys something. Let me guys show you, show you something. Um, happened? No, where is it? Where is it? Getting insanely fed on Zaya. No. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. No, it, it, it's not that I randomly clicked it. It's that I was like looking at my old YouTube videos trying to find like which ones were, were performing well. Okay, okay. There's a real reason for this video. To show you guys. Do you guys know how everyone right now is talking? Shut up. I'm running out to my own YouTube videos. This is educational. It's kind of interesting. You guys know how everyone right now is complaining about how much damage there is in the game? Like, everyone's talking about, like, oh my god, there's so much damage in the game. Like, everyone dies way too fast. Okay, I was, like, watching. I was, like, watching how much damage is in the game with with, with mythic items. Do you guys remember, do you guys remember how, how Gale Force, like, just, like, worked? No, 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 just wait, just wait. Just wait. No, no, this, this, this doesn't show it. This doesn't show it. This doesn't, this does not show it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, guys, the damage that's in the game with Gale Force is fucking crazy. Just wait, just wait, watch. What is that damage? What is that damage? I'm not even that fed. Like, I, I was one kill. I just have Gale Force. That's basically my only item. Bro, the game at this point was just, was stupid. Hold on, hold on. You guys have to, you guys have to see how much damage ADCs can do. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, this is a bad example. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. My community Discord still isn't under my stream page. Fuck! Come on, man, don't tell me that. Bro. That... That was the peak of League, I think, in terms of, in terms of damage output. Like, like, I'm just killing this guy with, like, half my rotation, just, like, Gale, and then I just Gale Force for the rest. Like, it's just... It's fucking insane how much damage there was in the game back then. And and then now people are, are still kind of complaining about it, but 
in a way, like I get nostalgic thinking about how OP mythic items were. Night Harvest. Look at these mythic items, guys. Look at these mythic items. Night Harvester, Prowler's Claw, Roa. Like I'm getting chills, little chills, goosebumps. Locket was a mythic item. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like I like the game back then. I like the game. I like the mythic items. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was maybe a little bit imbalanced, but I, I had a good time. I had a good time. I really liked how fast people died back then. Someone donated? Oh shit, one sec. I'm gonna just pull up my... One sec, one sec. Dun, da, da, dun. Gotta pull up my dashboard. Yeah, let's go back to the LCS while we're waiting though. Oh. What the fuck am I clicking on? What the fuck am I clicking on? Yo. LCS. I'm clicking on my I'm clicking on LCS is opening my own YouTube videos. Okay, who donated? Um may I request watching the Death vs. Viper spacing video? Oh my god, that's a good one. This is this is so fucking crazy, by the way. This is a 10 second clip. In this video, Deft on Zaya beats out the identically ranged Viper on Kaisa using accurate space. What the hell are these minions? Why are the minions looking like mechs? Oh my god. By the way, the damage in the game at this point, like how many autos? Two? Three, four, five, five autos, five autos to kill him. That guy got fucking rolled. Yeah, he got completely rolled. Can I watch the Berserker Xenai video? I mean, is it good? I'm like kind of, I'm kind of lukewarm on it. Yo, guys, can you, can, anyone, anyone got any good video links? Anyone got any good video links? It was mid. There's a turret right there. How is he going to walk up? I mean, the spacing is immaculate regardless. It's immaculate. What is this? EDG Viper, unallowed movement detected. And finally, the recalls come through. Misfortune has her own Gale Force. I am reasonably partial to at least some level of crit on the Misfortune. Going to go in for the play. Double auto. Oh, the cube. Oh, oh, oh. Is this at Worlds? It's a Worlds best of five, right? Is this is this at Worlds? I mean, EDG versus Gen G. They would only ever play each other at international. Is this at MSI? Execution. For Deal with. Dude, this is a good video to to just kind of accurately show how overpowered was ADC back then, like. How fucking broken is ADC where you can just do this to somebody? I mean, yeah, it's Lucian Nami. Yeah, they both have Gale Force, but like, holy fuck. partial to at least some level of crit on the Misfortune. Gonna go in for the first. I am Yeah, I'm trying to see the timing that he dashes in. Obviously, it's on the cannon timing. Gonna go in for the play. Oh, I love that Q, by the way. I love... See, like, I love that he... Didn't just Gale Force first, he queued first and he bursted with his Gale. Oh my god. Oh my god. This spacing is the most insane I've ever seen. Ah, uh, fuck you. I'm not watching that. Suck a dick. Yo, what's this short? Crowd's doing. Ah, uh, fuck you. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> two, two in a row? Seriously? Yeah, fuck you. This final, hype finals, your jinx tentacle. Is this going to be the biggest thing go for Okay, dude, that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Honestly, if you did it, if you did it again. Hype yeah. final no, 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 no. Dude, come on, guys. You can't be linking my own clips. That's not the Victor Lucian clip. <laughs> No, nah, no, we're not watching that. Fuck you. Five man sleep? It's a nine man sleep, dude. Get it right.
<laughs> oh my god. It's like hearing my own voice. Yeah, like I can't watch my own clips like good or bad. It's it's too cringe. Lol Dobby? Lol Dobby has been making some bangers lately. I mean, I I watched a couple couple of them are Okay, let's see this one. I didn't actually watch this one. I watched the first 30 seconds. Let's see the the only player that one trick Diana to challenger in Korea. Let's see. What does he have? He has Lich Bane Rush. He's four and five. He's not even okay. Okay, so use the stopwatch. It's pretty normal. I mean, this is such a whatever clip. What? This is such a whatever clip. I I mean, I like I guess you say it's kind of cool that he Q flashes, but like, come on, man, everyone knows how to do that. Everyone knows how to Q flash on like a bunch of champs. Let's see, let's see what this guy does. I mean, the skin makes this champ look stronger. Diana on her base skin looks weak as fuck. Oh. Okay, let's see it. Multi four man. Oh shit! He dropped the nuke. What the fuck was that damage? Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? That was like five. Oh my god. Oh shit. He, he actually dropped dick on him. I think it's a skin. Okay, watch. This is fire. What is this? He ever. What? Watch this. Is this back when jump scares were simply called screamers? Dude, I'm not watching this, bro. It's the fucking. I'm not watching this, you fucker. I already I've watched this already. This YouTuber seems legit. Wait, this is just my stream. Wait, wait, you guys are just linking my stream. Double lift with a fail flash. The dragons giving the gold to put flash was in this position is much greater. I don't even remember this. Double lift jumps out, binding use. No, Zap actually hits. There's the rocket as well. Oh. Double lift. Oh. Unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky. Wait, did we win this game? Did we win this game? I'm trying to remember. Did we win this game? Oh, there. If you made that flash. Wow. What's this? Devil if eats from the trash. Uh, dude, come on, come on. Come on, stop blinking my own clips, dude. Seventeen minutes first blood. So what is what is all Dobby trying to teach us today? Lich Bane, Zonia's, Rabidon's, Deathcap, Banshee's, Dark Seal on. I mean, this is just normal stuff. This is just normal stuff. Let's see here. It's best to hit both the enemy and the wave. Okay, this is some noob shit. Dude, he missed a creep. Minus one. Even if Emmy harasses, you're fine with bone plating. Whoa. Most of all, do not push first. Okay, so you want to get pushed in so you can go all in. Yes. That doesn't make sense. Diana is fucking hurt. Okay. Wait. He's going all in here. He's going to win this. He wins this. Kill Wait, kill him, no? Dude, you win that. I swear to God, no? Oh, wait, this guy's this guy's not clean with it. He's getting hit by those. I mean, all I'm learning is like that he can just like go in and then run away with phase rush or E back to the minions. There's just like 
This is nothing. This is nothing. If you land Q to departing three, it's a potential kill. Okay, let's see. So he's three. Goes. One. Oh. Oh. Let's see. I mean, I would have reacted to that. Like personally, I would have reacted to that, but but I understand that he's not as good. So he he preps his third auto. Flash E, no way. Diana is weak to jungle gang. Yeah, you don't see it. I mean, phase rush? Is that OP? Wow, phase rush is that OP. You can match trades with almost any champion. Even Tizana? Oh, well, yeah, if she jumps on you, you like what? If she jumps on you melee, then yeah. Okay, I'm not learning anything about this. Like, this is all normie shit. This is all normie shit. This is just laning 101. I think Sneaky might have been onto something. Zabi is going fraudulent lately. Wait, how did he do that? Hold on, hold on. How did he do that? So he... Wait, what? He just goes in? Like that? Wow! Oh, okay. I thought he had to hit his Q first, but he just goes in without hitting Q. Lands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm learning something. Now I'm learning something. Push the wave, finish with QEW. Okay. I know, I know. Eat his ass. He could have just walked. He literally could have, instead of doing all that stuff, he could have just walked away and flashed over a wall. But I respect it. Q E E E. What is that? Q E E E. Okay, let's see. What does that mean? Does that mean hitting the wave and the champion? What? Oh! Okay, okay, I see. So he he dashes to the minion, and it re it's still re. What? It is because if you E a nearby enemy quickly before the end of Q lands. Hold on. If you E a nearby enemy before. Okay, yeah. I get that. Q also leaves a mark on the far enemy. Yeah. So it's like you're a Dude, you're doing some anime shit. You're like along the crescent of your Q, you are dashing to it as it's being marked. I, 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 I've I seen only a few Dianas in my entire life do this mechanic. It's a bug. Yeah, it's a bug. It's a bug. But it's not really a bug as much as it is a, a really, really, really cool use of Diana's mechanics. Dude, that Talia is ass. That Talia is ass. Yo, re report that Talia. Report that Talia. What was that W? What, what was that? What, what? What? What is this W? She's like Wing herself. She's like, yo, fuck it. I'm gonna run alive right now. Okay. Despite avoiding tank items, you're still a tanky. Yeah. I mean, that's how that's how like AP base works. What, what happens now? Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I used to just sit on your ward. That's how it goes. Oh! That was kind of cool. Alright. What happens now? Utilize minion. Did it reset? No, it hit, the shit fell off. Legit, it fell off. Oh. Interesting. Why does the game start in 42 minutes? Wait, is Elsie still late? Okay, I think I'm done with this video. I'm over it. But that, it was cool, it was cool. Elsie starts later because LEC? Oh shit. Okay. On the clock as we can blow it up. He is Really? Really? Left remaining the enemy jungle. We're delaying our playoffs for Euro Cucks? Let's play one solo game. I don't think I can finish a game. Like I don't think I can like get through champs like finish the game in time. Game 1 like early path. But then again, who are we watch partying with today? Um, Pobalter, Spika, and Revenge. And if somebody doesn't show up, we're gonna combine with Medios and Sneaky. Three minutes, twenty-one seconds, guaranteed. Umti is going to be in his opponent's jungle. Is he a fiend? Though? Hey, Ram enjoyers. I mean, all right, we can do viewer Aram. We can do viewer area. All right, guys. I'm gonna pick five random people. Five random people. Put your put your username and your uh, hashtag in the chat. You know what I mean? So I can invite you. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here, we get this guy. Who's, who's messing with me? Oh. And we get this guy, 31 years old. Okay, I mean, I have to invite that guy. And we, Tomato Gap, I like your name. And, uh, Young Swabby. And wait, what? You have griefed me, sir. That is not your name, is it? Nope. Player not found. That's on you. Okay. Four invites sent. I will be right back. I think I have my, my food. I'm back. I'm back. I got food. Holy shit. How popping is Aram? How popping is Aram where you just like fucking immediately get a pop when you're five stacked? I'm not playing Renekton. Oh my god, I'm playing Pike. Yo. I have to play Pike. Dark Harvest? Hmm.
Yo, fuck it. I'm going. Get I'm going Gathering Storm. Is that troll? What else should I go? Should I go Triumph? Should I go Ulti Hunter? Should I go? Wait. Should I go Hail instead of Dark Harvest? Like actually Hail of Blades. Presence of Mind. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. Presence of Mind. And maybe Tenacity, honestly. Hail of Blades? Like, Hail of Blades is better? Hail of Blades is better? Okay. I believe you. Oh wait guys, I didn't use any of my rerolls. Is that true? Guys, I never play ARAM. I never play ARAM. Dude, I'm, I'm kind of crazy on the pike. I'm kind of crazy on the pike. Run tactics, fellas. Hit and run tactics. Oh shit, I'm out of the bush. Fucking detects all of our like traps and shit. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Dude, I'm about to hit. Oh, I'm about to hit six and kill everyone. I'm about to hit six and kill everyone. Straight up. I can already feel it. Oh my god, I need to hit six fast, guys. Woo.
<laughs> I mashed my ulti twice. Woo! I'm alive! I'm alive! I need to get some fucking heals, guys. Oh, shit. I mashed my ulti twice. Oh! My cannon. Oh. Fuck, I'm ulti in twelve. I'm so close. Yo, can I feed the Poro? I can. Okay, I'm ulti now. It's time to pop off. It's time to pop off. Oh, come on. I wanted that one. That was not fair. Not the best reset I've seen, but it's okay, it's okay. We're learning. This must be OP and ARAM spit up. This has to be OP. And this one. This has to be OP as well. No doubt in my mind it has to be broken. I have to go into this. Oh! Fuck! Oh, it was almost Penta! It was almost Penta! Oh, fuck! 
I'm so close to getting these. Did I go Cyrilda? LEC is done, they delayed it for nothing. I mean, yeah, but they can't like keep fucking with the timing. Because like, the circumstances change. That would be like pretty mean to the people who are like, oh, I have 30 more minutes, so I'm just gonna go do something else. Why did they make two super- Yeah, I don't know why they- I mean like... Because LCS is like... I actually just did this. In ARAM, how how could I have run it down in ARAM, guys? What a huge mistake. You know, I just wanted to eat my food. I really want to get a Penta. I really want to get a Penta. Fuck! Sad, dude. It's actually harder to get a Penta on Pike than you think. It's not just like free free shit like when you play Smolder. Oh. This is just mean guys, this is just mean. This is me, and let's, let's end on these guys. I feel bad. GGGG. Nothing is like Smolder, yeah. In terms of like, when you get a Penta on Smolder, you didn't earn it, you know? On Pike, you kind of earned it. Yo, GG's guys. That was fun. Orin said, first game back in six months, and that's what happens? Jesus. Well, I feel bad. But not that bad. But, you know, I, I could say I feel bad. That'll make me seem... Basically, shipping the videos to like inspire mm -hmm. and all the people who are potentially coming on to Evil Genius. Like a nice guy. Saying, like, look how well of a player he is and like how quickly he grew to be the monster that he was. And sure, if you just look I'm at the game, just think about how well, short of a stint now we're gonna watch LCS. LCS thus far. And it's insane to not only have your first LCS MVP, championship, and all pro battle immediately right from the get go. Yeah, still hopefully a long career to come for JoJo, pending the results today. No, we'll see. He's gonna have I'm a long eating time. some chicken. I just gotta get into predictions though, right away, because I think this series could go in a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. Also, shout out to everyone who sent their predictions in, because we have more than just our predictions today. Sure. We have a number of predictions for a wide range of opinions. And this is the first time I'd seen this. That's okay. Whoa. I thought I was yeah. gonna be spicy with the C930. Oh <laughs> Kobe, shit. Guys. Have yeah. the C930. That's insane. So I can actually Genetic see fire. that happening. Like I'll, I'll explain my prediction because I think uh, fuck it's really okay. different. Than the LCS it. guys yeah, asked I'm me if I could submit a prediction and I totally stuff. forgot. So I think if I am basing stuff off of what I have actually seen in playoffs, I think this is how this matchup goes. Mm -hmm. Fully acknowledging that I actually think whoever wins game one will just end up taking the series. Yeah. And if that's C9, it could very easily be a 3-0 because of the way that they play, which is just 
to absolutely dominate you with really early mm. pushing lanes and then take over. I will dominate, didn't submit a photo. Is your trio because you're living there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right? That's it, right? Yep, that, that is why, yeah. I was just trolling my, my vote and then I see everyone else is pretty I'm like, hmm, okay. They couldn't find a fucking photo with him without his crack pipe. So, yeah, I was, my, so they just had to use his uh, logo instead. My is I think uh, that Captain Flowers could be right as well with the Team Liquid trio is C9 does feel still very one-dimensional to me in the fact that they pick very strong scaling. They are very good at fighting. They have very good mechanics, but they don't have the clearest idea of how to win the game. Um, that worked against 100 Thieves. Who's my prediction? Southwest. Yeah. But with the I think C9. I think C9 through one. Early and take so many more early fights. If it goes wrong, I could see C9 actually just like, quote, showing up on the day. And even if their drafts don't seem the most cohesive or they don't have the clearest idea of how to win the game, they would literally just 3 0 because they're going to be up more than 2,500 gold at 14 every season. Yeah. So you're saying C9's back. That's what he's saying. <laughs> C9 could be back. That's what he's saying. They're odd as well. That's, 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 that's all I heard. That's all I heard. C9 <laughs> could be back. I am hearing, though, that we are ready to get into the game. So let's toss it to the opening. Finally. Online dark mode notepad. Wait, let me just double check that I don't have anything written on this anyways. Okay. So let's see. see. So mid. So let's, let's actually go top to bottom. So let's go top to bottom. So we have impact versus fudge. Fudge it. Okay. I think like that. Impact much better than fudge. How about umpty blabber? Umpty blabber? You know, this one this one actually legitimately feels hard. I, I actually will say I think umpty has been playing better. Right? A little bit. It's like, it's close. A little bit. Very, very close. But um, Blabber has not been playing very well. Playoffs. He's kind of AFK sometimes. He, he Blabber clears? Bro, like, you have to watch Blabber this, this season, bro. He is, he's legitimately AFK. In, in a lot of their wins, he's AFK. In a lot of their losses, he's turbo AFK. Um... And then APA and JoJo. Now this one, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I think Impact clears Fudge, and I think JoJo clears APA. That that matchup has historically went terribly for APA. Uh, what about bot lane, though? So we have Berserker and Vulcan. And on the other side, we have Yon and Core. Yon and Core have been playing better and better throughout playoffs. Like, they've been, they've been scaling up. But I still will say that Berserker is a little better than Yon. And I think that core is a little better than Vulcan. So ultimately, I think that bot lane is going to come down to like picks. Since I feel like core can be way more useful than Vulcan in some situations. But like, it's not that it's not it's not that one sided for me. I feel like Berserker and Yawn, it's not that one sided, but give the slide edge to Berserker. And then, you know, the inverse for core and, and, and Vulcan. Yawn and core is on C9. Uh, yeah, my bad. <sighs> My bad. Like this. It's kind of close. It's kind of close. Dench. Yeah, there's something wrong with me. My bad. I, I had the other wrong sides on. Um. So, you know, my prediction is C9, 3-1. Right, this is like 3-2. It's pretty close. I don't think this one's I did. I, I'm going to stick with my 3-1, though. I'm just looking at my 3-1. I'm not going to pussy out. I'm not going to get affected by chat. And grand final tomorrow. Vamos por último tiempo one last time. Make some noise for Cloud9 and Team Liquid Honda. For Cloud9 and Team Liquid Honda. It would mean a lot to win my first bit, of course. It would be kind of like a way for me to look back on my accomplishments and I actually feel that I got where I am because I deserve it and because I've worked for it. Time for me to eat. Let them know 
Oh, what a cute little kid he was. What a cute little kid he was. I want Masu and Vizia to do well. I like those guys. Oh, this From music the beginning, is not when it, he though. was playing the League of Legends, he said, Mama, I want to get something. I want to be something. He's a very determined person. That's why he got this level. Fly quest are looking to challenge for their first ever LCS title. We left home. We left where our family was, our friends, just so they could give me and my siblings a chance to grow up with more opportunities. I know winning makes them really happy, so it would also reflect on how seriously I guess I take it for them. Ian, he's only been in the LCS for not even a full year. I see the little kid in him. I see the trials and tribulations that he went through. Dude, this and I see how strong he is was fucking now jacked as a kid. What? Dude, I, I got a pot. I got, dude, he so literally looked like Tyler he One in his old photos. Like, of everything that he went through. Oh shit! Sorry, I, I didn't go back far enough. Bro, he's like, how old do you guys think he is here? He's like fucking built as shit, dude. I didn't know AP was such a Chad. Actually, what the fuck? This brother's got more muscle definition than I do, and he's like 12 years old in this photo. You think he's eight years old? Oh, my God, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the to how did they interview Berserker's mom? Is she in the US or did they get a like interview of her? It's a very big title and it means grip. a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of emotions, many, many things. I have always told him it's not about if, it's about when. With the 1v1. Bring that trophy home, kiddo. fighting. He wants it, it, runs from it. That was cute. Berserker's been growing out his hair since he joined today. Maybe the longer his hair, the worse he plays. So if he shaves his head bald, he'll fucking go Super Saiyan again. Knowing that I have that support behind me. Double's first time watching a child play sports? Dude, don't, don't, even, don't even troll. Bro, that's like a 10 year old kid. Do you think it's normal for a 10 year old kid who likes sports to look like that? I'll have people behind me that support I mean, maybe. Even more? No. He's an outlier for sure, bro. I don't remember any of the middle school kids. Dude, no way. No way, dude. It's genetics. Exactly. It's genetics. Have I seen kids now? They're actual tanks. Is that normal for real? My son three and he's that big. Okay, now I know we're trolling. Now I know we're fucking trolling. In game number one, they let Kalista uh, and Renata go through as a pairing for Cloud9. Cloud9 immediately snatched them up, but were unable to... Yo, what's up, huge, huge? And a lot of it was Yo, what's up? And you win your Aram? I did win my Aram. Those, those guys didn't know what was coming. At the end, the enemy Orn said, this is my first game in six months, and I felt really bad. <laughs> he has, like, two jobs, six kids, four wives, and he's like... Might as well, I'm gonna try and leave for the zero first time. Ram wins. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't wait to get back in the league. I used to have so much fun with this. Oh, shit. Five fucking pro players. What did I oh, it was a five man pro stack? No, but it's like. Like, the people who would watch a league stream are like. 
usually super sweats. Oh, okay, yeah, you played with your uh, viewers, yeah. Yeah. What's up, Revenge? Yo, you calling us sweaty or Dude, what? Dude, they blind pick Ziggs, that's honestly hilarious. Bro, it's APA, like, it's, it's APA game game one. Like, no one can counter his Ziggs. Eugene, you, you, you should know, bro. If this guy blinded Ziggs against you, you'd be sweating in your chair. True. Dude, there's got a, there's there must have been something. What would you there's pick? Here? Eugene, Eugene, you there's are nothing. loaded into Cloud Nine right now. Cloud Nine pull belter. Cloud Nine pull belter. What would you like? Against in? Six? <laughs> like in this draft, what would you like? <laughs> Dude, Damn, they should ban Arya Eugene, I would, I would, I hope that you would say for first, like that you would have no ego and you would just ban Ziggs. <laughs> That's not possible. Every mid laner has to have the ego at first. I mean, but can dude, we? Apparently, bro, we need. This isn't even a good champ, bro. Just let him have it. No, no, no. We we can't ban mid if we're playing with Doublelift because Doublelift needs three bot lane bans every game in order to, for good bot lane matchup. So I'll just tank the Ziggs. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I kind of do need those three bot bans, like to you know give myself a slight edge. Bot will carry. Bot will carry. Eugene remembers when he like to play with me. It's like, yo, can we uh, ban this one? Nope, nope. We need three AD bans or three support bans. <laughs> we have to pick bot together as a pair. <laughs> Either two three on blue or one two on red. Oh, or, dude, you remember then? Or we can pick support on three and double ban bot. <laughs> I mean, you know how it goes, Eugene. If a better bot wins every game, blind pick, blind pick, Pryo slave on mid on four, like Ari or something, and then let top lane just get fucked. <laughs> yeah, we need an early ganking Jello that synergizes with our bot duo, Pryo mid, and a top laner that can TP to sacrifice. And the game is playable. TP bot level three on the minion flanking. Yep. Of course. I guess there's no good punish though. Like Ziggs is just gonna farm. Like you can't stop him from farming. That he's broken. Then Ziggs is the most OP Tyra. blind pick. No way. He literally just admitted. He said there is no good punish. Then he's OP blind pick. But but that's like mid lane, man. It's hard to punish. Mm -hmm. huh. Like you could pick Zareth and just like also sit on your turret and cue the wave. True. That doesn't mean it's like good. But can Zareth take like every tower in the game randomly with the spell? Can Zareth have HP towers in one wave? I don't think so. I actually think that's like the only thing. Like, if, if your team is winning and you're the Ziggs team, it's so OP. Like, you'll just take every turret in the game at like 10 minutes. Also, okay. like, like, no, not even joking. Like, APA's accuracy on fucking like Ziggs Q and shit is actually insane. When I watch okay, him fight, he does not miss. I would have no ego banned Ziggs. Because they banned Ari. If I can't play Ari into Ziggs, I would have said, let's ban it. We'll just match the bans 1 1. That would have been me. Mm. I, I like C9 comp, though. I really do. I actually think it's a really well balanced comp. How's the bot matchup? They picked Zyra to support. Or is that Lane Kingdom? Mm. I actually don't know. This is the one I'm going to have to defer to uh, whatever happens in the game, because it's really spicy in my head. I don't think there's like a clear winner, but you know, C9 wins all in, TL wins like poking and short trading. So, depends on skill. Oh wait, it's Jack's jungle. I've seen Sorry. so much Jack's jungle lately. Even um, I was watching like owner's stream highlights last night in bed, and he's like spamming Jack's jungle. Um, I don't know how good it is. It feels kind of whatever to me. It looks yeah. good against C9 comp. They don't really have too many auto attackers. Yeah, like Maokai clears so much. Like, it's gonna be such a better pick than Jax this game. And the only thing is, if Jax can fuck up bot lane, like early gank bot lane, he'll definitely have more agency than Maokai to, like, affect bot early game. But it's so hard to say. I actually feel like this game is all gonna be about how bot lane goes early game. Because I feel like, I, like mid is chilling, top is, like, whatever. And the whole game is up to like close to Renata can make a gap, I feel like. Because mm -hmm. it, good for Renekton, yeah. This comp? Uh, no, is good for Renekton, like matchup. For oh, yeah, yeah, early game. Early game. It's, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Actually, it's like, pretty good the whole time. Uh, I don't know. I think Asante is really bad against Renekton right now. I agree, yeah. yeah. I keep like getting Renekton in my Zolju games, and that champ is so useless later. I don't yeah, know how to I mean, avoid that feeling. I mean, honestly. 
I don't think Renekton is going to be that useful this game later on, to be honest, but he's going to do his job early and just have pressure and like make the game just fully bot focused for mm -hmm. Maokai, but it's like, yeah, that's that's where I want to see if like, oh, what the fuck, the UI. Whoa, what's the UI, yeah. Oh god, here it comes, the shit's off. He has import slot, remember? <laughs> Good bands. <laughs> TL has him for a slot. Passes Bjergsen for the second most LCS games played all time. Now only behind Wild Turtle. Wait, Wild Turtle has the most games of all time? Fuck, that sucks because he's not actually playing, so you can't keep it. I mean, you know, he's on Shopify, right? Like, he, he's, he's a sub on Shopify. But B-Boy is legit smurfing it. Yeah, unlucky. You can see on the mini -map I, actually, right I actually thought so Turtle would take over the usual, you know, the Turtle takeover. The, the Turtle takeover? Um, <laughs> but P-Boy's too good, I guess. Dude, where is Spika? This guy's actually trolling. Yeah. Like, look, I had excuses. I had excuses not to be on the coaster. Like, I mean, you, are, you also gave me a heads up. Spika actually is, like, completely unexplainable. We could, um, we could combine with Sneak in Medios at some point if we want to. <laughs> Holy fuck, a merge. A merge. Five folks in the kitchen. Five men can sometimes be really fun. Sometimes be like, holy shit, there's a lot of people talking. But... <laughs> we'll find the balance. Also, this bot lane looks really interesting. Fingers, fingers. Who can hit more skill shots? Callisto at long sword three potions. Is that? It's so it's so he can just chug potions and play for push. Because I feel like they'll get pushed now. Yeah, it's so he can like just keep standing his ground with potions running for the first like few waves. Yo, we have to level three gank mid, by the way. They're both like 30% HP, no pots already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's actually funny. Oh my god, see his Q oh accuracy god. is just, he's just insane. Okay, oh, oh he w. missed W, he missed w. The W miss is actually kind of embarrassing because that's not. Wait, we're like, getting top. Nah, no, there's dead. no way this is ever worth it. Dead. Dead. It doesn't even matter, he dies. No, no, he can, hit three. he can hit three here. Oh, wait, he got hit by the Q3. Okay. Okay, if he didn't get hit by the Q3. Like, I, I know it looks weird, but if you didn't get hit by the- Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, fucking... whoa! Ah, uh, jungle oh, death. My yeah, 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 yeah. Mid... I'm sorry, but it's not worth it for Mid top. Mid is jungle gap. Mid is jungle gap. No, like, what actually, though. What do you mean it's not worth? Fudge just griefed it, bro. Yeah, but, like, who cares? Like, Renekton's still winning. It doesn't fucking matter. It literally doesn't change yeah. anything. Oh, oh, and mid is ruined. I see, I see what you're saying. And yeah, mid like... is fucking ruined, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do that classic, like, Pro player thing where you're like, was it really worth it for us to yank mid there? We we, we should have covered top, and it's like, bro, you just fucking. Oh, no, no, it's the opposite. You. The fucking oh, yeah. opposite. <laughs> it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. So I'm gonna go for the free kill mid, and if you fuck up your wave like this and die, that's uh, that's on you. Yeah, like, I would get it if it's like, if it's like, I don't know, Jax, Jax and Renekton matchup, Jax versus Renekton or something, mm -hmm. then doing a gank like this top can like change the entire game, honestly, but, oh, wow, wow, no hesitation, wow. just flash W. That was so good by Barbara though, at that time. Oh, he's like, I'm fucked. <laughs> That's a regank off Ori 6, for sure. A regank on his, yeah, that's, uh, that makes sense, yeah. And Ori has flash advantage still. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Ori's just gonna flash R when he's dead. This but it, you know what's so weird? We, we just watched that last series with, with FlyQuest. Where C9 didn't play around mid at all. So I wonder if they went back in the review. I mean, Mithy's a smart guy. Like, I'm sure they went back in the review and like, what the fuck are you yeah, doing? Yeah, guys, why are we weak side mid every game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's completely opposite. They're like level 3 hit. Holy shit. Oh. But like, honestly, Eugene, why do Ori's do that? Why do they QW before they realize if the Q is going to hit or not? It's like, you're just like mashing. Wait. Oh. oh. It's because he, he thinks he doesn't it's have to hit. flash. He doesn't have to flash. As, all right, Jojo gets away. He mentally thinks it's going to hit, right? But like, I don't know. And like, I don't know. Sometimes like that literal fraction of a second determines whether it hits or not. Oh, okay, okay. And it's not like that punishing to miss either because you only W when you Q anyway. So your Q is going to be on cooldown anyway. So like, you might as well. Oh, 
okay, I see, I see. So this is ego thing, basically. Yeah, yeah. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got from that too. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Explanation yeah. just completely confirmed it. Mid laners. Why would you ever use a skill if it's not gonna hit? Actually, so true. <laughs> That's a ninja tweet right there. <laughs> I guess like what's another example of a of a spell in League where like you have to like kind of hit confirm it? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I can't. I can't. Think. There, there, there is a few where I was talking to my teammates about. It. I'm like, why do you just like mash? Just like wait and see. I was gonna say like Jace shock blast, but not really. Like it's not. No, it's like no, no. Uh, Ezreal W. Ezreal W is a good one. Yeah. I mean that one is like the most obvious. Though. Uh, Give up those early grubs on the top side, especially with the top side successful gank that went through. Yeah, Revenge, I mean, can you turn your mic up at all? Um, yeah, let me see. Hold up. Maybe I can move a little closer to my mouth. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at double his chat, and some people were saying I'm too loud, so I don't know if that's... Oh, that, I mean, like, I can, like, you can always, like, fuck with it on Discord on your own end, so... I can, like, I can, like, turn you up 10% of myself and strike with him. Is it better now? <clears throat> oh, wait, it's good for me. Is AP is fucking dead? Or? Two seconds, one second. Oh, no. Oh, flash Whoa, auto? No! Oh, oh my god, that's disgusting. God. That oh was disgusting. God. I cringed a bit, yeah. That's tough. Oh, wait, this pack might be dead? Fine. He can cue the wave, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. You can see APA just immediately going to the chat box after that one. Oof. Wait, JoJo's JoJo's actually playing horribly in playoffs so far. Like we talk about how he didn't get any help in this previous games, which is true. But like mechanically on Yone, he was doing some crazy stuff, just going for like dry ultis with no follow up. Like I don't know what the fuck he was doing, honestly. And uh, even this game, he got handed a free game and he just griefed it. Look, he's dead again. Is he? No oh, way, no, no, no. bro. Oh shit, I thought he was gonna get knocked in, bro. <laughs> bro he like, I thought Ziggs is that OP. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I, thought, I thought Ziggs was gonna, like, off of the stun, like, knock him into the, you know. Yeah, but Jax is like, I think they could have tried. Like, no, but Jax is not strong right now. He's not. He's not strong enough to do that. Bro. Okay, what happens here? But here it is, Jojo. Okay, so Jojo has the like elixir running, so he's oh, wow. And he, oh, wait, he missed the Q. Yeah, he missed the Q. APA. It was good movement by APA. It was good movement. Yeah. And he walked into turret. It was like it was like a misplay. Yeah. Yeah. And he could, and honestly, he could have just not greeted that and just flashed when Jax was looking to stun. Mm. But not mm. quite single and digit health. Flash. Yeah, that's I mean, they didn't even oh, punish AP. What's going flash. on? Is, is, is there a gank or? Uh, uh, here? Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Wow. Ziggs, is that OP? Oh, wow. He can just trade life one like that? Dude, that's pretty, that's pretty fucking good for him. Yep. But he used Flash, but he did use Flash, and Malkai has Flash, so it's like, crazy. But it's like good. Flash too, and Fudge I, dropped a yeah. wave, and he dropped the plate, no, this is, this is horrible uh, for, for C9, well, I he got a wave mid, he got a wave mid, so it's not, for Fudge it's oh, fine. Okay, okay, that's true, that's true, Fudge doesn't fall behind, but. Yeah, Fudge doesn't really fall behind, but. I mean, yeah, it was good. It's still good for Ziggs, but he has no flash now. So if they can actually punish this flash, which they should, like, there's no way they don't punish this no flash, right? No way. I mean, bro, like, actually, APA is getting into people's heads, legit. Like, yeah. we can't be playing psycho mode like that all the time. Wait, if I got two plates. Ooh. Wait, are they dead here? Oh, yeah, uh, does Yon have plants? Oh, no. And they're fine. Maybe Core dies. Ew, I don't like that by Vulcan at all. Wait, wait. Why, 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 not, why, why, why we not just go for the for the Zyra there? That was weird. Wait, couldn't Blabber just commit though? Um, yeah, I think they could have killed. They could have. Um, you have killed Yon. Maokai like, W into Renata ulti or into Renata or Costa ulti. Yeah, or Renata like I don't know. That was so troll actually. Renata R flash or something, no? Yeah. 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 Yeah, actually, our flash might have been just literally been ideal, to be honest. Because uh, then I think he would have cut off their entire exit path, yeah. yeah. C9's actually choking, by the way. 
Because yeah. uh, hmm. that was, that was, I, I think that was a free, at least a free kill on Yon, maybe Core dies too, at least Burns Flash, like, there's no fucking way. They have Callista ult, and Callista Flash, too. Yeah, I think maybe partially they're just honestly, like, kind of spooked, like, maybe Jax is hiding behind them. They don't have do they lose that? Like, even if Jax is there, do they actually lose that? Look at Varus items. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe they would lose that, I'm not sure. It, it, they were I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, They're for sure scared of Jax, though. To deal with these. Team has already four grubs. They got the first Isn't Kalista getting fucked here? It's like a stacked wave on bot. What? He's but dead if he... Why does Berserk oh. always do this? He, he's actually oh. the CEO oh, wait, of doing Zix, this. Wait, Zix Alti is coming through too. He, he's, oh, he's actually the CEO of doing no. this week. Like, so many oh. times, Berserker will just protest being weak-sided and, and just like... But, but because C9 was like winning so many of their games, no one was punishing it. But uh, like it's, I think it's terrible for Renata to move up there. Like, who cares about these grubs? Calista just lost so much. But that's we're like talk, a we're talking though. about uh, C9. They think that grubs are like enemy nexus level of OP. <laughs> they they will literally give every Drake over to get three grubs. They will do everything possible to get the grubs. So. Surprising even to fly I won't lie, I feel like this is a huge weakness that's been exposed, like you said, and I think Sven was really good at making sure that this didn't happen to bot lane. Yeah, because but Sven plays idiot and he knows how really fucked this is. Like, yeah, I mean, he shouldn't yeah. die, but losing two plates and a full cannon wave so your team can get grubs is, like, so dumb. Yeah, I, I, I mean, just the way they play around bot lane in general C9 this year is, like... Just so shit. But, so but that's shit. the kind of protest that you do in scrims where you just die and then you're like, yeah, I shouldn't have died, but... But then when you're on stage, you definitely don't do that. You just get off turret. Yeah. Then you flame your coach after the game. I mean, Sina's still getting two dragons early. Yo, what do you think about juicing the D-Blade on Callisto? He started Longsword this game. Is it good to just pick up or you just skip it if you start Longsword? I think you should just skip it, yeah, at that point. Because, like... I, I think also he might be thinking that. Actually, no, I'm, I'm stupid. I, I always think about well, if the enemy AD has free boots, I'm gonna be behind unless you know, unless I like skip something for it. But in this case, uh, Yon doesn't have that. He has like the elixirs or whatever. I'm I'm usually cool with it. I, I don't think deep blade is that necessary. Oh, the bot CS is very low this game. Yeah, <laughs> spicy yeah, matchup. But, so. TL's plates, and I think Ziggs is going to be able to break full tower bot. This is when Ziggs starts getting unleashed. Like, he's going to break tower bot, and then he's going to go top. And it's like, dude. Team Liquid are pretty okay. happy. They got the Ghost Blade already done here on Yon. Uh, despite some of the uh, early CS deficits, they've made that up uh, pretty nicely with the tower dives that they did. How many plates is it? It's like two and a half. Oh, shit. Oh, he has flash, though. Is he dead anyways? Really? Oh, yeah, he's so dead. That's a good map, Kyle. Make sure she can't Actually, flash. I just yeah. realized we didn't, we didn't even think. Uh, hold up. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm at 13, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying 11. Well, okay. What do you guys think about Zyra though? I, I I used to think she was really OP, and then. Nowadays, I feel like she's just kind of mediocre. Kind of not that good. I think it's good counter engage. It's good when they have to come into you. I mean, they have Renekton and Kalissa on the other team, so I feel like it's not that bad. Yeah, this is a pretty high value Zyra game, I would say. I see. That, that is true. I don't know. I don't think Maokai is a uh, kind of champion. I feel like has to go in. So. Yeah. Well, it's. I would it's not really like affected. Like I don't think Maokai is like. Oh no, they have a Zyra. Like Kalista and Ekton are gonna get affected by Zyra for sure. Playing against. It I, I like the concept. Both the carries are longer range on TL, Ziggs, Varus. So you have to come in at some point. Yeah. And that's when you get Zyra value. This champ is like just irritating, bro. Like she has Leandri and then Zaza's realm spikes and then she just like plant autos you from 2k range like max range yeah and you just get chunked for like 500 it's stupid yeah that's true the zack zack and uh the andrews like random additional damage is, like it adds up a lot well renata values i think higher like this will be higher this game i think renata just is a better champ but i understand why you pick varus as like classic duo with good synergy and yeah you're right it's it's good for what they want which is just to play keep away 
And and Core loves Zyra. I mean, it's, it was always his, one of his favorite champs to play. It's pretty good C9 picks up this Herald because if the Ziggs team gets Herald, it's really, really fucked. They yeah. can get like two. They can get like three towers maybe. Oh shit! They're yeah, they're actually trying. Wait, Berserker just the cleanse. What? Wait, what? Why did he cleanse? Uh, okay, Wait, just, I mean, this is so I didn't so even see bad. it. Did he, like, fat finger it, or...? or... Yeah, oh. yeah, I think so. Goddamn, Berserk is... I mean, they're gonna lose two towers mid now. I was, like, doing some rankings beforehand. I, I feel like Berserker is honestly only playing, like, a tiny, tiny bit better than Yon. It's not even really, like, noticeable. They're pretty even. Yeah. Lately, I've been like really confused with Berserker. He's like, he's been Korean debuff for sure. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, if they get this Herald crash, it's so. Funny. Dude, they should have drove this Herald to bot. Dude, no one knows how to do that shit. <laughs> but that's still so good for them. It's like that turret's dead in like two or three hits because he's eggs. It's like Herald's so OP. Wait, they can drive it to bot, right? Through Tribush? They can, I think. I've seen, I've seen the video, but it's like... I've seen the video. fucking Formula 1 racer. It's not that hard, bro. Okay, okay. You know what? We gotta go into... A, between games, let's go into a custom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, 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 we can all have a try. <laughs> Immediately starts rocking. Actually, oh, it's better to go into a uh, training tool because then, uh, bunch of gold balloons here for TL. What's it called? You can just respawn Harold whenever you want. Number three is only true. Three just practice their training. Practice tool, yeah. Dude, ADC should just not take cleanse. Change my mind. The amount of times I see them accidentally use it or like think they have heal and then waste it is unreal. In season 14, by the way. You're talking about to the CEO of doing that. I did that so much last year. It was crazy. My, my support's dying. We're going all in. I'll just cleanse nothing thinking I have heal like so often. Wait. I don't do it as much anymore. Yo -yo? Oh, no, he's Wait, is Yo-Yo actually dead? Uh, no, he's no, actually good. fine, maybe. No, oh, oh, my 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 oh my god. Oh, Shaq's damage. But like, Wait. did Blab, did Vulcan not have W? Because if he W, it might be a trade kill and then reset. Yeah, I, think I don't he's know. He's running from Cassante GP. C9 is just, I think C9 is fucked. This, this is like, TL is playing so well right now around this Drake. Like, they, they, they had to get this Drake and then now C9 has like no income, I feel like. And APA like, just killed the I don't know. I mean, the previous or, round where C9 all showed up mid to watch their mid turret die while APA was taking bot turret solo was like honestly depressing. Like, yeah, that was weird. Oh, oh, oh. They keep up the pressure, they take away the dragon, stop the cloud nine. It's like this gold lead is. Yeah, and they get a tower now. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe not, because Blabber is... Okay. Nice little W by Blabber, but... Oh, it's so weird watching C9 like this. You, you... Oh, oh, oh! Impact! Oh, this is too deep, I think. So. Yeah. I mean, he should have just ran after the flash, but... Wow. It was pretty epic. He had to go for this. Yeah, play. the snow choice. Oh, and they get the tower now, though. Do they? Yeah, dude. Oh, Ziggs, oh man. yeah, Ziggs is so OP. Ziggs is so OP. I guess Shep is so OP. When your team's ahead. Have Ziggs. Wait, like, look at this. Play Ziggs. Okay, I will do it. I'll do it. No, you won't. No, you won't. You I'll lied no, already. I'm really going to do it. You've broken my trust, dude. You said you would. Wait, why did, <laughs> did you see Blabber's sapling there? Oh, oh. Uh, wait, guys. Wait. Wait. Wait, a second. Behind. wait, phase rush is that OP? Okay, my yeah, mistake, Blabber. Yeah, my mistake. Okay, one more time. One more time. Okay. Yo. Oh, oh. Yo, Joe? He's dead. Oh. He's, 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 is he dead? Yeah. Dude, that was like all Zyra damage, by the way. Yeah, I know. Zyra's just... one key there. But it's worth it if API has shut down, which he does. Ooh. It's fine. Useless Ooh. Renekton got it. Uh, yeah. Useless I mean, Renekton, worth, actually. It's like worth it, but mentally, it's like, dude. Yeah. yeah. Mentally, it feels like API has just been shitting on JoJo. Uh, yeah. Like, feels fucking bad. I mean, Kalista's been farming up. This whole so much more time, honestly. To to when I play Pokeberus, I don't feel so like I'm getting outscaled by Kalista. 
Yeah. I feel like if you're, if you're really good at Varus, you can carry so hard if you have a smooth laning phase. I mean, actually, Yon's CS is not looking good, but his items look pretty strong. Yeah, I feel like this happens with Yon a lot, where he just legit has like 8 CS per minute in a lot of games. Yeah, that's always been his number one weakness is out of lane. Because I think in lane he plays well, but out of lane he... Gets lost a lot and either gets caught or doesn't farm much. I think they have been grouping and sieging a lot. Like, they haven't really been farming side waves. Mm -hmm. APACS is kind of low, too. Well, yeah. I mean, I will say it was looking giga doomed for Berserker, but he just spent the last like two minutes solo farming waves, getting tower. Now he's like actually ahead of XP of Varus. Yeah, and he probably has two items in base. I think it's actually quite a miracle. I I didn't I have not been paying enough attention. How did C9 get two Drakes when their the game has been going so badly for them? It was just early, like early. Yeah. Everything. Because because like now I feel like C9 has a real chance. They're not that far behind, and two drakes to one. I kind of would rather be C9 right now. Yeah, I think it's still it's close. I think. I feel like five v five is a lot easier for TL to play. Yeah. 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 I could. Oh. oh, oh. oh, oh I could see Jax. I could see Jax just get fucking one shot. No. Oh, no. Never mind. He's he's cute. Never mind. Oh, he brought him. With the ward jump, Maokai's out of position. Yeah, Dude, Berserker can't hit. He literally can't play the game, I feel like. Dude, Impact is just Sante's gonna... Sante's 1v4. Before. Impact is just gonna... Uh, Wait. No, he's... Oh, oh Berserker does zero damage! How useless! How useless! <laughs> he does zero damage! Oh my god. It's Baron. It's Baron time for TL. It's Baron time. And, the, and running into Baron is so fucking annoying against Ziggs. I feel like APA can solo zone three of them. One, one v three. He can just be um, a nuisance. Wait, Renekton has R. Okay, yeah, you're, no, you're right. It's... We need some plants, Core. Oh, okay, but come in. okay, but like, I'm pretty sure Berserker has two items in base, and that would have made a huge difference in this fight. But like, dude, dude yeah. the, the war jump was sick from Umpty. He like kidnapped Maokai over the ball. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty yeah, epic. That <laughs> Oh. oh, they can't even get the Drake either, because it's not up yet. That's... okay. <laughs> That's fucked. Bro, oh. just remove Cassante, please. This shit is so fucked up. He's just running in one before everyone. <laughs> oh, but he's a tank, dude. Wait, look at, look at Cassante. Damage. Like, she can't do anything. She got rooted and just... <laughs> like, oh, FF, you know? Oh, Three men, or two men, Ziggs ulti, and then go just one I'm, HP. Honestly, wait, okay, I'm not gonna lie, when I rewatch this, if they actually all played just forward, like, if this was T1 connecting, T1 wins this fight. Like, I'm not Yeah, even I agree, I feel like C9 like, pussied out. They didn't want, they didn't really, yeah. like, want to go on the Maokai ulti, so then no one yeah. knew what to do. Like, if Berserker cleansed the root, used this ulti, threw Renata in, Renata uses ulti, Renekton actually uses his TP on the right timing, like, that was a C9 fight, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm being delusional here, because, like, I don't know. Varus doesn't have DPS there, like, after using his ult. Yeah. If they just, like, all donkey on him with Kalista, I mean, Kalista has to be, I mean, that's why I feel like, okay, if Kalista has two items, then maybe, but she only had one item, she's kind of... Like, it's, like, hard to just exactly know what'll happen, but, like, the worst thing you can do is be really wishy-washy about the play. The yeah. You either yeah, just like, like you, you don't like just like throw them out cold. You like let's see what happens. It's like it's like you poke and run, or you go all in on it. But you don't just like I don't know like what what they did felt so like. Uh, 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 is it good? Is it bad? And then he dumps in. Yeah. They siege now with lethality, Varus and Ziggs. Yeah, it's looking kind of rough. Enjoy that. To just completely move up the timers. Really impressive Two stuff. infernal drakes. I think it may be time to open. Uh, what if TL? Dude, <laughs> what if TL washes C9 series? Like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's nothing. Again, it's just it's just a, a complete like nothing. Oh my god. He's so Blabber is so cocky, just like walking up like crazy there. He might die here. Holy shit! He was so close oh to dying god. there. Oh it my god. Did, but it doesn't really even look like it. The damage oh, not super that's such a squishy gave him a haircut. TL continues their pressure. <laughs> the question I was going to pose before that scrap is how worried are you about this game state I mean, from the point of view of C9? I mean, I think it's over. Dude, why is it so hard to push inhibs this season so with Baron? 
Don't you feel like it's impossible? They have to stop their push now. I feel like in previous seasons, you would just get Baron, and that was like, one in him at least, guaranteed. I think it just depends. Maybe people are taking Nash earlier, too. That's kind of what I'm noticing. It's like, I mean, that was like a 22-minute Nash. So, or 23 minute Nash. So, I, I feel like it was harder for them because they weren't progressed at all. You hit Jojo with one or two of those spells. The um, fight's already done before it starts. Yeah, here is where I would try and give the other side and be like, oh man, but Cloud9 have a good team fight, you know, if they get there engaged, then it can be explosive it and you'll usually get a bunch of kills uh, and snowball that way. But this game also really... I think there's too many threats on TL side. Game. Legit, all five sure of them are a threat. Like you can't, you can't mark all of them. Like Even like fucking Zyra is a threat, sure Jax is a threat. Plus, uh, Renata yeah. Bottom lane early on, and then I feel that range. as well. Played this big damage into it, and I don't think C9 has like any like threatening characters or plays honestly. Like Oriana's pretty pretty weak. I think Callista is just gonna get her head chopped off by Jax. Cassante. It is so hard for me to imagine Callista doing a lot of damage. Like even when she's yeah. really hitting Cassante, it's hard to imagine. I don't I don't see Berserker Callista as a win con right now. Like they have to reevaluate. It's like Really far away from it. I, I feel like they just need to put this guy on like a way different style to win. Right I feel now. like even the ideal C9 engage where they like flank or they like hard engage and one shot someone, the, the rest of the four are just gonna kill all of them. Yeah, maybe like, quad tier Renata ult can save them. I don't know. I mean, like, if Botlane was hard winning somehow this game, like Callista side, and they were just stacking dragons, like, that's how they win this game. That's like the only way. Or if some crazy shit happened mid, which like, I mean, Jojo griefed it, you know, but it's like they could have made a huge mid gap this game too. Um, but that's not really like reliable, right? I feel like, but yeah, I'm not sure. Balin didn't look winning for C9, really. But we'll see. I'm really curious how they adapt the series, honestly. Uh, it's weird like everything's like so intangible when, when i was playing risk berserker he's playing pretty well and if he has like a losing matchup he'll lose gracefully and not make the mistakes that he did and if he has a winning matchup he will like suffocate the enemy team basically but yeah i don't really feel that about him anymore he just kind of like lost it i kind of yeah. feel the same way about jojo i don't know what the fuck happened to him he kind of lost it i mean i feel like he's choking i mean he was playing really well this game and then just chokes like i mean him and blabber i feel like we're playing well together too but yeah i don't know was he like really bad on the fight quest series i didn't watch the entire like series oh, yeah. fully, but it was like, really bad if you saw when they played off you'd think it was like a bottom to mid later playing like although i like like a small like cope or him would have been like blabber just completely never looked mid a single time and he was getting spam ganked but like he was like weak sided playing yone almost the entire series two out of three games Holy oh my god, no way, bro. Um, you have to flash those. Yeah, losing Renekton flash, I mean, you're not really a character anymore. He's not a champ, yeah. yeah. I mean, this game's over. They're just open. They're just like bleeding, yeah, holy fuck, they're actually not able to try anything. Or they're just not trying anything. What can you do? What can you do? I think they're just trying to farm up as much as possible and give up in hips until they get three items on everyone. Like, I think Jojo and Berserker are like close to three items. But I think as the game goes longer and longer, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's actually better for C9. I think they're just like trying to give up everything, including their Nexus. And maybe go next. Oh, okay, here we go. Good. Maybe oh, good shit, oh, play by okay. I, I don't think um, they saw it. APA flash. Oh, oh. Where's the follow up? Yo, fucking Where's... someone use some abilities on Where's him. Oriole. Where's Oriole? Yeah, he okay. still has all? I mean, yeah, Jojo needs to be reported. Wait, wait, it's looking kind of winnable. Maybe, maybe winnable? He is. I mean... Oh, wait, is Umpty getting a Penta here? Holy shit, no wonder everyone's playing Joel's Jax. Wait, wait, is, Umpty, is Umpty getting a Penta here? Wait, he's getting a Penta. Give Penta! Penta. Get a Penta. Give. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wow, he oh actually got God. Penta. Wait, that's Holy mental victory. Shit. That is so crazy. I was not aware of the Joel Jax game. It, it has not looked good in LCS <laughs> until this game. What the fuck? You just need a Korean to play it. <laughs> it's Grover. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, how is there a tweet? One second after the fight. Did you see that? They like pulled a tweet up. Wow. 
during the team fight, they pulled a tweet like, "This is a scripted game." I think. This is actually this is a script. Nah, but what is going on? Like Blabber Flash Maokai W'd, and then or he just like just didn't use Oriole for like yeah, the entire I need, fight and still was over. Hold on, I need to rewatch that. So why was I think they might have to? actually won the fight if he Oriole to pass. Yeah, it. yeah, because then then he doesn't get any abilities off, right? Like they chain CC him perfectly, he doesn't get anything off. Why did Oriole hold his ulti? I'm gonna see this again. Uh, he's just trolling. Like he's actually there's no other way to put it, he's just griefing. I don't know like, why he's like APA literally could have reasonably flashed out of this and lived because he played it the way that he did. And and he fl APA flashed in place at the end, that's why he died! Nah, jo dude, wait, Jojo wait, lost wait. it. Jojo has lost it. Wait. Wait. And Berserker is also fucked. I mean, Berserker can't really play this fight. But he did his best. I mean, Kasante Jax are just fisting him. Dude, my chat is saying the ball went oh. back to Ori. Guys, you oh, know Ori has Q, back. right? So Ori, Ori's E is on Maokai. It snaps back to him. He's still rooted. Okay? Now he's rooted again. His ball is on him. He can still ulti, guys. He can still ulti. He can still ulti. His, his ball is literally on top of him. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I think they win the fight if Ziggs dies faster. He got everything off before he died. That's tough. And, 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 just, and just think about it. What if APA did not flash in place on accident? It would have even been a more of a stomp. Like, APA just gave his life for free because he, like, fat-fingered his own flash. But if that was... If that didn't happen, it would just be a complete slaughter because he just held his ult. I don't know, man. Like, like I just... I don't have a lot of hope for Cena after watching them play this game. That was too many mistakes. Yeah, honestly, I wonder what happened with Jojo. Maybe he's tilted. I don't know, dude. I don't know what's going on. Holy shit, I'm teased hype. <laughs> this could be another BCS investigation. <laughs> okay, but what if TL actually 3 0 C9? Like, actually. I'm <laughs> fucking crazy with that. No, I mean, it's it's possible. It's possible. I, did, I, I thought we were going to see, like, a previous version of C9, like, clutch up in playoffs version of C9, but, like. Yeah, I think they're too boomed. I uh, I hung out with uh, Armeo and Tactical like uh, uh, like not even a week ago, and they they've been scrimming IMT like they've been scrimming the playoff team still. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why, but um they actually said that they think TL is like one of the best teams and they think TL will win it all. TL is always playing so well in scrims like they've just never been able to translate. But yeah. no, they think TL's online. They, yeah. they don't think C9, they don't even think C9 is that good. Makes sense. Like, yeah, which is so crazy. Yeah, it's, so, it's still so crazy to me. Didn't IMT, so, it's, it's, is IMT the team that shit on C9 2-0 in, in Yep. Okay. Yep. And apparently they constantly shit on them in scrims too, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's just, yeah, so... I mean, um, all right, let's go. Let's go uh, training. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> let's go Harold driving. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I'll try this shit. <laughs> Wait, one sec. Right back. Yo, what's a good driver? Who's a good driver, guys? Wait, we're doing the the Harold drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I'm I know, I'm going into uh, training tools so that I can just like keep testing it. Oh, corky, corky. Yeah, I'm doing it too. We'll raid each other. Huh? We'll raid each other's driving skills, you know. At the okay, end. Okay, hang on. I'm locking in Ziggs. I'm doing APA cosplay. Holy! You're inspired. I'm gonna type in all chat against the practice tool dummy. Let's see. How do I do stream. this? I guess. I should just make myself like max level and shit. Yeah, I don't think that matters, but yeah. As long as you one shot the fucking Herald. Wait, can you just like spawn Herald in the practice tool? Or like, how does that work? I think so, yeah. You definitely you should be able to. Why'd you choose Corky? Because <laughs> he's a driver. He's a driver. How do I spawn? <laughs> oh, here it is. And Rift Herald. Okay. Fuck 
fucking up the herald. Okay. Wait, I did it. The, I'm on the wrong side. I have to do it this way up here to top. Oh. How do you do that? Wait, what? <laughs> Holy fuck, you chose the wrong side. Wait, what? How do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to watch this, bro. ADC, ADC player trying to use Herald. <laughs> hold on, hold on, on hold on. Team. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not doing even it. Shut up. Shut up. I'm doing it. Wait, you, wait, do you have to like take the turret first? Or? Oh, you you right need to kill now. the turret, big Shut guy. Shut up. Shut up, Eugene. I'm driving here. Oh shit. Okay, I was close, I was close. Oh shit. I was close, oh, I was close. I needed to right side, How do I jump it? How do I jump in here? God damn it. It's not cool that bro. Fuck, I need to kill the turret somehow. It's not possible. <laughs> watch Eugene, watch Eugene, watch the master at work. Watch like, the master at work, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eugene, I need to watch zig. you, I need to watch you. Give me one with sec. His, with his zigs too. Which Cobalt turret? One sec, one sec. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, I okay, have okay. you. Okay. I got you, I got you. I see it. Okay, we're replicating the game scenario. Okay. Take the turret. Get in it. Okay. And drive to bot. Does it work? Okay, okay, oh okay, 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 okay. Let's see it, let's see it. it. Holy shit, he's actually doing it. Holy. Oh, 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 oh. We only have three seconds. Oh, you can't make it. No. I was too oh. slow. I think oh, you can, though. Oh, wow. But it's like still <laughs> good enough. Like, it's still like pretty good to do that. Bro, I was about to say that the chosen one, Lisan Al Gaib. Lisan Al Gaib. I got blue ball. <laughs> Wait, is it even possible to get it to, to fully go? I don't think it's possible. I don't think so. Oh, well. I hopped in it a little slow. I think oh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, if you if you just let the herald ride normally and crash, and then you just uh, take it over instead, would that have been better? Like you don't drive it the first time, you just let it crash the first time. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Got like out because I rode it. Yeah, exactly. You let it crash the first time, but you kill the tower because that's actually what they did. They like killed the tower with Ziggs W and let it crash, so the herald looks like full HP still. And then they wrote it, or they could have wrote it. Is that how it works? Like, like, okay, okay, I'm gonna try. I'm trying. I'm okay, trying. yeah, yeah. So like, wait, six is OP. I'm pushing their base. At okay, no, but you need you need to switch you need to switch sides, Peter. You need to switch. No, no, my herald is gonna die. My herald is gonna die. It's over. Oh I'm not wait, Ziggs. I can't fucking just take the turret whenever I want. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I wait, can, what? I, I just killed Nexus at four minutes. Champ is broken. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna happen. Holy shit. I should've went the other way. I'm a pussy. Oh wait, my god. Where, you, where the fuck are you going? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's happening, it's happening. Oh. Oh! Three. No! <laughs> wait! <laughs> <laughs> No! That's a fucking Altifor. That's an Altifor. Altifor, <laughs> get out. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was so fucking close. Fuck! Fucking okay, so it's possible. It's possible. It just needs a, a few more tries, but... Can you imagine doing that on stage? <laughs> I think I'd be too emotional to continue the game. Like, I'd be like... <laughs> like Yo, guys, I need to go to the bathroom and have a quick cry. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, okay, so you guys are right though. It, it's doable if you let it crash normally the first time and then you uh, first why do you get extra time the second time? Does anyone know? Is that just like a mechanic of it? <sighs> or sorry, you don't Maybe. I mean not uh, uh, extra time. You get less time if you drive it twice in a row. Is that the way it works? I'm not sure. I think it's the same both times. So why why does it matter if you drive it the first time and the second time then? Why why would you just want it to naturally? Because if crash? you drive it, then it like locks you out for a little and it bounces you back further than where the herald is. So you lose like a second. Oh, because the herald has like a a finite amount of time after you crash it the first time? I thought it's like it the timer starts when you get in. So why would that matter? The is herald it... like walks forward a bit and you get while you're like popped out. Yeah, okay, okay. That makes sense. Hmm. 
the distance like goes up because you enter it later and it walks. Uh, that, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Today we learned Harold mechanics. My driving skills will need some brushing up, though. We're learning. We're learning. I really wonder what draft is going to be next game, though. Holy shit. I'm so curious. <clears throat> Wait, bear back. Hell yeah. Dude, I can't believe Spica is just a complete like nocturnal animal. Just yeah, like, that's a demonic schedule. Like what is he even doing? That's why I don't understand. It's, it's not like he has like no offense, but it's not like he has like hobbies that require him to be like late night or some shit. Like he doesn't hit the club. He's not like doing shit. Like and, and the thing is if he's playing league at like 3 a.m. the cues must be terrible. So what is Maybe little bro he's fighting doing? demons, bro. He's he's sniping demons? He's fighting his demons, I don't know. Oh, okay. Till like 5 a.m. His stream's still pretty late, I saw. Okay, I gotta see now. I'm gonna go to his stream right now. Twitch speaker. Fuck, I think I have to log in to check his VODs. You're not logged in on Twitch? Oh, I... I'm on Microsoft Edge because there's like some stupid ass bug. Wait, why are so you his, missing? Um, I, I'm using Edge because like if I full screen it with Google Chrome and then I like tap, like I look at anything else, I tab in anything else, I think the then my it flickers yeah. on my screen, I on my stream, sorry. Oh, that's weird. I'm surprised you don't have that. His last stream said schedule, sleep schedule fixed maxing. <laughs> and he, uh, he definitely didn't. What time is it for him? He's like academy, doing all this shit. That 7 p.m. Wait, he has a real sleep schedule, maybe. Yeah, I mean, APA loves trash talking, but I feel like when he talks, he plays much worse, so it's kind of a good thing. Like, I remember he's, APA sent like he's streaming to like 11 p.m. And playing chess. Based. No, wait, it was like 1 a.m. yesterday when I saw him on. Oh, shit. I don't know. It is taking focus away a bit because I, it's really hard to focus when like a bad player is talking to Actually, he stopped streaming yesterday at 10:30 p.m. I don't know. There you go, bro. I was I was checking his vod. Like I don't know. He he was only streaming at like 10:30, 11. How is he not up? It's 15 hours later. He said like, can't wait to kick you out. I don't remember, something about an international tournament. Cause the winner of this series goes to MSI, right? And last splits to go to Worlds, it was me versus TL and I lost. So he's saying like, if he kicks me out again, it would be funny or something like that. I mean, it'll be pretty funny if he kicks me out again, I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, that won't happen. I'm not <laughs> saying it's the most important thing. Like, I'd rather win than get, you know, JoJo's or Jensen's head. But to me, it's just a part of playing. I'm just trying to win, so I'm just doing what I think will give me the best chance to win. Welcome you know back what? to the LCS 1 0. I'm over my, uh, my I'm over my long, hate so for APAs spamming all chats because it's working. Series, Emily, You're over it? And I cannot, I cannot blame somebody for. Doing something that's going to improve his chances of winning, even if it's spamming all chat. Pretty base. Um, I mean, I always thought it was funny because 
I, I thought, I mean, if he was like playing the worst on his team, like by far, and like griefing his team and all chatting, that was just like, the worst part about it. But um, he's playing better. So. Yeah, he is. He is. Better. He's stepping up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Also, <laughs> uh, it's really interesting. I think this TL team is actually like, become a bit more well balanced right? before, especially because I actually think a big attribution is their bot lane. Like, we were kind of shitting on TL bot lane a lot the split when we were watching the games because they were like underperforming so hard, but they're back. Like they're laning well. Jan's playing definitely better in team fights as well. He's having some pop off games. Like they kind of needed this shit because their bot lane was just a hole this whole split pretty much up until playoffs so yeah um, i think that's their biggest difference like impact's been solid the whole split pretty much umpty umpty is scaled as well actually i actually feel like he's been playing a lot better this split. oh they banned um, six yeah they dropped ego they actually dropped ego and fucking banned that shit that feels bad though that's like you acknowledge that his six was hard to play against so it feels yeah. bad yeah holy <laughs> Giving your opponent an ounce of respect, TK just completely humiliating. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're actually banning two Bro, mids. They're, they're banning two mids on one two three. They're banning Nico and Ari, and Nico is one of the champs that APA plays a lot. So that's kind of surprising. Dude, I just thought of it. Eugene is like in his anime protagonist arc. Like he only wants to fight his opponents at full power. Otherwise, it's not honorable. <laughs> they need to be on their best <laughs> champ. This just seems like. Bro, if you can't handle APA on Ziggs, how are you going to handle anyone at MSI? Come on, man. Damn, I mean, if you can't we, handle we, me on my Ziggs, you don't deserve me at my Ari. <laughs> that guy was missing. He was missing charms on stun targets, but his Ziggs, I don't know. His accuracy is like 99% on Qs. Yeah, TL loves Varus, and C9 loves picking random shit into Varus. Dude, Blabber is finally on, like, carry jungle. This is literally the best Zyra Khan game I've ever seen, and they're playing a Senna lane. They're gonna play, like, Senna Tom Kench. They picked, they picked Varus, Nautilus, Zaya, and Rakan both shit on both those champs, and we're picking Senna. Let's go, guys. We win these. Um, but Jojo has typically gone to... Is Aya as good versus Farce? You don't get outranged? Oh, it's really good. It's really good, yeah. Whatever happens, Doesn't Farce have a way higher attack range? He, he, he spaces you, but like... Um, it's so hard for Varus to walk up to Zaya with Rakan in the game, you know? Like, because the second you auto, you connect your first auto, you're already in range for Rakan to EW you. So it's very scary. It's very, very scary. And also... Um, whenever you start getting pushed in by Zaya, you're just like poked forever. Varus has no sustain, so it feels bad. Blabber's gonna drop a fucking 20 kill bomb on Lee Sin, and they're they're never gonna put him on a tank jungler again. You know, I would love. I actually would love to see him only play carry junglers. When he plays tanks, it's not. It's not really working. So Blabber I, mean, I feel like Prime Blabber is like Blabber who is locking like Olaf Kindred every game. True. But he's kind of been on just like slave jungle duty every game. Yeah. But that's kind of how he's transitioned as a player more. Like he's enjoyed playing. Like even last year he was just like primarily playing. I've never heard Double suggest anything other than Zyrocon every draft other than Lux. Like, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Zyrocon enjoyer. I mean, I'm also a Kaisa Nautilus enjoyer. I'm also a Varus plus whatever enjoyer. Their bot lane's not fucking winning lane, dude. Like, I, I don't know how else to say that. Their bot lane's not dominant as they once were. So he can't just like be this like slave kind of player. That's pretty much it, honestly. Um, and then it's and just like Jake's not performing well in playoffs either. It's like I don't know. Someone needs to step up to it. There needs to be another point of pressure. Not a Maokai getting one shot, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Even though if we're looking like a flight quest series or something, I think no matter what happens, uh, I mean, maybe you have seen on wins LCS, then they won't make a roster change. But I feel like it's coming, like because like no one's playing like themselves. I feel like when everyone on the team is looking kind of like they're playing bad, it's just like um, you kind of have to make a change. Thing is like intangibly wrong. Everyone's dragging each other down. That is true. So who are you? Who's available? Who would you change? I'm thinking like that's we get like Holbelter, Revenge, and Speaker. 
maybe potentially jungle, and maybe like Sven support. <laughs> that was super cheap. <laughs> yeah. Wait, and I'm I play AD carry, so wait a second, hold on. Wait. <laughs> I think okay, if they were to, if I was going to off season, do I do we change fudge? Like actually, I don't know. Does fudge just changing fudge fix the team? Yeah, I think I think like dude, I think Blabber and Jojo don't really fit super well together. Is it just me? No, it's like not, they're both dude. super good, but I feel like they don't really fit well together. Uh, I feel like Blabber looked better with like Niski, for example, and Jojo looked better with like Armeo, for example. Yeah, Jojo Armeo synergy was kind of off the charts. <laughs> really though, I would say. Yeah, I don't know who I, I, I feel don't, like Blabber would do better with the more mature. Yeah. And square jawed uh -huh. mid laner. <laughs> I think I think they'll never get rid of Jojo, no matter what. But yeah, they paid up the I, ass I, for him, bro. Yeah, yeah, they'll never get rid of Jojo. They'll probably never get rid of Berserker. Probably. Like not the split. So who the fuck? Who they I mean, it's like only Fudge. I feel like they would actually change, but it's like. I, 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 think they, like, I think they might consider changing one part of bot lane because the bot lane is like not working. I feel like you can kind of tell when a bot lane is like going to be deadly at some point or not. Like even when I was playing with Buzio early in the split, there was like games where we're getting shit on, of course, where we're getting farmed like minions. And there are also games where we're shooting on the enemy bot lane. So I was like, okay, like if we can like ramp up the consistency, right? And like get things clean, like we're going to be like fucking insane. Um... They throw a couple but like, I don't know, I never really felt that with uh, Berserker and Vulcan. Ever since Buzio hit that Nautilus hook through the minions on Berserker in the regular season, I was like, oh shit, it's over for them. <laughs> I actually ended their synergy. Oh yeah, I will say, I do think they should change one of them. One of them. I would say I'm still really One of them. Like, something has to change. Like, I, I don't know who will change stuff. Like, I, I mean, I could see Berserker totally giga mental booming in offseason and being like, fuck this shit, like, I'm out, you know, or like, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah. And then play, like, C9 has to, like, do something. But, and, like, they have to, like, get double lift or something, you know? I could see that timeline. But, <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I really, I really want to play LCS right now. My dream, my dream LCS. I think they really rounded out the comp well, you know, bringing in this this impact rumble. All right, as we're waiting for the minions to spawn, Raz is standing by for an interview with C9 coach Mithy. Do you think that Blabber needs a cuck mid? That's what someone asked in my chat. Tough loss of the last game. A cuck mid. Yeah, I've never heard it phrased that way before. Well, we. Misplayed you know, you're talking about like Niski. He's he's a massive cuck <laughs> mid. Like, he plays for Team Perma. So. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, I think that's when he looked best. You know, yeah, like game, Blabber just going like jungle diff style, Kindred mm -hmm. Olaf carry jungle style. I mean, that's like totally not the meta right now for sure. But I mean, you can make it work. LPL Bro is making it work. Milky Way. Wait, wait, I just realized Jojo's playing Huey. Yeah. Okay. See, I think C9 fucking yeah. lost. Like, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I think C9 fucking lost. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Maybe he, maybe he'll pop off on it. But what the fuck? Well, I mean, it That's like so random. Yo, Eugene, have you ever played? The, have you ever just like went W level one on Tris and just jumped on the mage's head? What happens? Do you win or lose? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's good because usually you go bone plating on Tris and they don't have bone plating, so it's usually like decent. Yeah, because bot lane you will do that. In it's like when the enemy walks up to you like that and they want to do short trade, just fucking jump uh -huh. on their head. Wait, Ming woke up in this matchup. Oh, he woke up. Nice. I feel like Huey could start E and then you like auto Tris. If she jumps in and then EQ oh. her, and it's probably good for play. I see, I see. Is, is um is Lee supposed to be dying to his jungle camps and facing after three camps? Wait, I was about to say, why, why is Lee fighting for his life? <laughs> is, is, is that good when when you press or you look at your jungler jungling and he's one HP off of Krugs at two minutes? Is that the matchup? <laughs> I mean, maybe this is tech. He based for longsword. Like maybe it's tech. Yeah. It's tech. It's oh, tech. My bad. Wait, I have to I have to think up with you guys. What what time are you at? Uh, three, fifty-four, fifty-five, five, fifty-six. Okay, okay me, me and Eugene are seeing. Okay, okay. Three, one, two, three. Four, yeah. five. Okay, we're, we're, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, I'm Jesus. This is looking, uh... Wait, he has Smite. It's Smite fight. But, Wait. no, it's not really Smite fight. Oh my... Oh, oh my god! 
Oh, wait, is he dead? Oh, oh he's on you! Oh, oh. Yo, 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 this is a massive... Wait, this is such a massive ego battle right now. Wait, what is Jojo doing? Wait, can I APF... Just... W, 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 hit it! You hit those. No? You don't hit those? Oh my god, right now. There's like wow. some massive ego battles happening in the mid lane. Exactly. It's it really crazy. Was. Dude, imagine if APA was one creep faster on four. He would he would have killed Wait, him. wait, 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 guys. I don't want to alarm you, but like, look at the mid CS. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, um... Hmm. That was... I, I almost feel like... No, I mean, I, I definitely feel like it was better for JoJo out of this trade. Right, he got full XP and APA didn't. Yeah, and he's also... Gapping him in CS. He could have hard. pretended to flash and gotten it for free. Damn. Yeah. It's that Aatrox bind game, though. Like, sometimes yeah. they'll do it, sometimes they don't. You just have to guess. <laughs> so close. Oh, he levels here. He levels. I, I actually think it's amazing that Jojo had the presence of mind to know that he was going to level. He didn't keep walking forward there. Yeah. I mean, I think if he did keep walking forward, though, he could have killed him. No, he level... would die. He would die. To his, to one auto, he would die. And, and he and APA wouldn't die because wow. he got See, enough HP off of level up. But, but, uh, I was going to say, I thought he'd kill him before the level up, but... Oh. I thought, because so it's like a really small... It's like so close. Like, I, honestly, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Also, top lane. I want to see more it's been pretty quiet for Rumble Renekton, honestly. Oh, this gank works, no? Stun into Lee. Well, his stun's still down. Renekton's stun's still down, but. Oh, they oh, win. This. I think Rumble, Rumble, Rumble Volley win. Rumble Volley win, by the way. Rumble Volley yeah, win this. It's fucked. It's fucked. Okay, it's if Weeson hits. Yeah. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, where did. Okay, maybe it's just. On someone, bro. What? <laughs> maybe the map changes. They can win this. Really they can win this. Can they? Wait, no, he's. No! Whoa, wait, no! Blab okay. Blabber, never play Weeson ever again. Blabber, wait, never play Weeson ever again. Oh, wait. There's no way he thought he would win that. <laughs> no Dude, this Lee Sin is the Lee Sin I get in solo queue. He's dying to Krugs. He can't even clear his camps. He is flash queuing. Why did he flash? Can someone explain? You? Why would you flash there? Oh, oh, oh. Fudge saved the day. Fudge saved the day. Wait, what was Impact ulti? Was he just ulting the wave and then got flashed on? I'm con so confused. I need to. Re I really need to see that. What the fuck? Bro, this game is crazy. Oh my god. I was like, man, top lane's really quiet for an exit rumble, and then... <laughs> it becomes a fucking banger. Dude, honestly, the... Owner has been real quiet since Blabber dropped this league game. <laughs> I was gonna say the top lane terrain changes really made this fucking sad for Volibear because like I, I just I cannot stop blaming Blaber. This is so funny, bro. This is so funny. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, it, it wore out. I mean, Fudge is just not like Fudge can't follow that up, you know. Okay, can they show how Impact died though? I, I need to see this. Okay. I think he did ult the wave. Oh, he's hide on bush. Oh, wow. Okay, well played by Fudge. Hide on bush. Oh, what? Wait, no, wait, okay. he fucked okay, up wait, so okay, hard. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, he took a tower shot and he wins that. He took a tower shot and he wins that. Guys, if, if, if Fudge dies there, as well. if Fudge he dies there, what do you guys think happens? Dude. What do you think happens? Like, are we looking at a roster change in mid-series, or...? <laughs> okay, that was he, fucked up. If he died there, if he fucked that up and died there, that would be... Okay, also look at the CS top, though. Oh. Can they dive on this? Dude, if they dove on this, Renekton's life would be over. But they can't. Yeah. Oh. No, they can't. They can't. Honestly, though, the one thing I've, know, I've, I've learned is, like, CS gap only matters when it's, like, zero kills to zero kills. I feel like 20 CS gap, but, like, both laners have one kill. Kind of, like, doesn't matter as much, because there's, like, more gold on both sides, so... That's one way to look at it, yeah. I mean... It like kind bot of lane, you can be 50 CS ahead, but if it's like two kills to two kills, it's kind of whatever. Yeah. Wow. Yo, guys. Oh, we have a way coming uh, Do we want to get back to the turret? Oh, they're going to fight to the death, I feel like. Oh my god, and always, always, Berserker just cannot stop getting hit by hooks. Oh my god, wait, this is good APA for... APA is here. APA is gonna wait. kill someone, right? Wait, APA is just... Ward, ward the bush? APA. Anyone? Wait, wait, what's going on? Wait, APA kills everyone here. APA kills everyone. No? APA kills everyone. APA kills everyone. It's, good for, it's good for TL, yeah. Yeah. They just leave now. Okay, the TL is gapping C9 so fucking hard. What the hell? 
Wow. Dude, Berserker has been getting hit by those, like, lollipop hooks. What is Young doing? Whoa, this shit is not over! C9? C9? Yo, what's up, guys? What are we thinking here? What do we think is going to happen here? Wait, wait. Wait. Berserker's here! You hit... Oh. Okay. Wait, is AP dead? Oh, 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 AP oh, 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 my god. Flabber, don't take it. Flabber, don't take it. I'm... I'm just gonna. Okay, thank God. Thank God he doesn't have flash, because otherwise he would have taken flash Q in there and just gave another one over. <laughs> oh, I was getting cooked. Oh. Dude, Huey fucking cooked them in that corridor with the QE. Yeah. I mean, okay, that that C9 salvaged them, salvaged that pretty fucking hard. Holy shit! Dude, I think NA is the best region in this world. Dude, that was insane from Yon. What the fuck? Wow. I mean, C9 has a dragon. Oh wait! Oh my God. So Impact. smart. Impact. You can't get him twice with that same play. The fucking boomer top laner. You literally cannot win. You can't teach stuff like that, bro. You just like that's just something you gotta have. You gotta have you gotta have that dog in you to sniff yeah. that out. <laughs> Are you gonna zip him up after you're done, or? <laughs> Holy! It's true though. Like knowing when you're getting cheese, it's an art. Yeah. I'm a I'm a cheese enjoyer. Like I love just sitting in bot bush for me. Oh 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 wait! Whoa 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 whoa! whoa. And we waste we waste those kicks. He had no flash, but it's all good. 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 We got secure. We got secure. That's good. Secure. I respect that. I respect that. These control wards around mid lane, mm. these pockets of vision around mid lane. You know that core is gonna come walk here. Blabber got there first with Berserker. They got their their uh, their vision up, and so then it made the actual execution. You know the tech in this Trist Hui matchup is you jump right when Hui uses E E on you. Then he has nothing, and then you. That actually makes a lot of sense. Like buffering a CC and going in. So actually, Hui has to just perma hold his E and only Q the wave. I fear can they? Hey, kick would be good here, but wait, Yona's in flash. Yona's dead. Oh my God. Wait, what? Oh, Walking's dead, okay. Oh, no. oh, if he hit. I think they still kill him. Can, can they? Can they kill? Uh, wait. I mean, they're corralled. They can't do shit. Oh my god, oh, they they're missing everything. APA's movement is too good. Oh! Oh, god. oh holy shit. Okay, oh, nice. finally, we hit those. Let's go. Wait, wait, George. What was Umti doing that whole time? Was he pressuring topside? Was he doing grubs? I wasn't. He did grubs. He did grubs. Okay. So Grubs is anytime the, something yeah. Grubs is the ultimate bait because anytime your drone goes Grubs, the game just explodes. You know they're going for Grubs for a bottom side yep. play. Well, Wait, Jojo's something huge. fucked up will happen on bot. Uh, it's actual snowball, but look at this. Three oh, kills wait. for Jojo. Fudge, 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 fudge. Being fudge packer. Is massive. This thing okay. scales so incredibly and well for team fights. Yeah. So much <coughs> long range and AOE. Mm. What is he building, by the way? Is going to be at the cost of another it's objective, oh, wait. though. Never mind. That's not mod. Yeah, that's not mod. Eclipse. Okay. Yeah. I guess he's going, yeah, Hex Drinker into Eclipse, uh, maybe. I am a huge so, fan uh, of, uh, of maximum uh, damage. So like, just like, wait, full on solo queue, zero tanks. That's pure damage or and I am such a Early. Because oh, every wait, wait. time I play versus that, the Renekton is 05 and he flashes on me and I instantly die. Wait, wait. Wow. 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 I think if Berserker. No, he couldn't get the W off. I really want to see how Impact plays you know, throughout the mid game and the late game. Uh, it's pretty fucking good well. for TL though. Really good early game the hell? on the Rumble. There was one in particular we got monstrously fed. I don't know what that was. Behind, though, because he spent so much time grouping, so much time playing for the team, which really is the way. I don't think going for the top play is that worth but when you're going to lose full bot tower from it. That was really troll, actually. You know what? C9 looks way more alive with Blabber on Lee though. Like they're they're making some fucking plays. Pretty true. I think you're right. Okay. 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 Blabber on Lee. Holy, wow. dude, I wasn't aware of your game. I'm oh, sorry. wait, he, he cut him off. But John, think. John's dead. He has flash, though. He has flash, though. He has flash, though. And we don't flash at least in queue. We do not flash those. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, that, that, that. Uh, okay. But, but, like, he really, he really wanted to die there. Wait, wait what the damage? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 
Holy shit. Of team Blabber Lee. Blabber Lee. Go, 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 nah, it's the Blabber oh, Show. Blabber He's Lee. hitting Blabber every Q now. Blabber Lee. Yo, take it, take it. Fuck it. Just take it. Fuck it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Craigie's. We keep the action rolling here in the LCS, baby. I mean, nah, you but guys wait, were talking, wait, talking wait. shit about Jojo Kwe. I was talking shit. Clean. Yeah, he's actually he's performing. He's doing well, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Here. I mean, so Jojo can, can, can just play like every champ, I guess. It's pretty crazy. Not Ziggs, though. Never seen him play Ziggs. True. Not Ziggs. Never seen him play Aesol. Actually, wait. True. But he might, because Jojo and Joby are fucking like rivals. Like, they don't like use each other's champs. Numbers, we can pump Wait, but Chobi started Dark playing like, Aesol, so we can expect some Aesol from JoJo pretty soon. Oh shit, if Chobi starts playing Ziggs, I guarantee, dude, JoJo's yeah. all over that. Yeah. Like, it's coming. Okay. Like, the, 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 the Aesol's coming, at least. Like... Oh. Oh. Dude, you should have just taken it. Fuck it. Wait, oh, punch? we're not going to E. Like that? What? Punch. Why are, why are we using E like um, that? That was reportable. No. No, brother. Brother. Mm. That's one of those situations where like the enemy team's in your face and then you flinch first. Oh, Vulcan's fucking dead. Oh, the bear's root spread. Oh, oh my god, the bear just <laughs> ate him alive. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, that actually was crazy. The ex Umpty actually found that angle quick. Like Jojo had flash. Hey, Jojo had fucking flash. Yeah. Couldn't even react. Just and, and Impact saw the angle too. Like they both. I don't know. It's just Korean synergy. Like I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've been there as an AD carry a lot of times, like in that fudge situation though, where you're kind of like nervous because you're like, I have to react to like hook or whatever with my dash. So then you're like, nah, fuck it. I'll just like preemptively dash, you know, like I'm gonna get out of here. And, and then now that your dash is gone, they're just gonna go in. Yeah, I think flinching is a good way of putting it. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, it's like if he, if he just waits, it's all good, but. Brutal. Oh, Vulcan, Vulcan had ulti, but it's not really possible for this fight. Is just I want to see what you said about Varus ulti spreading for Jojo. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he got, he, oh, my God. That damage was just immediate. He did it. I thought he just. Oh, wow. Yeah, he should have flashed a Varus spread. He knows it, too. Oh, kiss. <laughs> Why was the ankle? <laughs> the angle like that. <laughs> oh wait, Dojo's just dead. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, he's still flash. Oh, he's fucking dead. Wait. Nah, this is why I hate playing Hui, by the way. You get so wait, fed and you're just so vulnerable. Wait, 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 no, he won for ones at least. And wait, AP is fucking dead too. AP is fucked. Why are you okay, hating? Okay, is OP. Okay, Hui is OP. We all knew it. We all knew it. The Seraphs is OP. That's what Seraphs is OP, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's that shield was not legal. What the fuck? I, I feel like he, he played the timings like really well too, where he, he waited for bullies like in, uh, unstoppable to run out on ulti or using fear. He played pretty well. Yeah. Finish up the outer top turret here, and they get to use hex gates to get over to dragon spawn first if they actually want Damn. to go for it. Yeah, we'll see. You know, if TL's <coughs> a little bit of mind control, they were just fucking diving his ass. I think Quay is kind of a mind control champion, though. It's like a champ that is so vul vulnerable, you want to just dive him and kill him. And sometimes you do for free, but sometimes you just get like sucked into the QE plus R WW's himself zone. Mm. Actually, it looks like the spawn. It's like how sometimes you want to make a play on Yone, and then he just has like fucking Q3, ulti E, and you just die. Yeah. I mean, who, who wins this dragon fight? And time advantage to TL. And this gets I feel like I favor TL. I don't know. I feel like right now Trist is not that strong. Like the difference between Trist with Nivori and without, I think that's like how she's balanced. She's like pretty shit without it, and she's like crazy with it. But Jojo. Might, might might literally be like the highest damage ADC in the game with, with Nivori. You're just like perma spamming E, you have a hundred percent of them on Q. Oh, they're just giving. No contest. But like when when is C9 gonna make their stand then? If it yeah. Now. I'm not sure. I mean they're, maybe they're banking on Senna scaling. Maybe they at least want to have some. Has no TP. And 
Oh, and wow. they have Harold too, like TLS is, I don't know, dude, TLS is did, did, did Fudge get, take top tier one off of that, or was it already down? Yeah, yeah, he took, he took top Okay, one. so it's a two for one for TL, but you can't really count mid turret oh. as like... Oh, oh wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, he was gonna do the thing, he was gonna do the thing. He watched wait, our stream. Drive it to Actually, somewhere. <laughs> Someone's watching the stream. Alright, 74 stocks. Thoughts? On Senna. That's actually really good. He's, yeah. he's doing extremely well on stacks. It's funny when you look at the items between Senna and Varus. It's like, okay, well, one of them has 100 more farm than the other, but like Senna's way stronger. Yeah. Oh, Demolish and Pro Play? What the fuck? is dead, but... Fudge is 100% dead. He, he's effect mark. You got the wave. Like, oh. Won't, won't affect too much. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I mean, well, if you got the wave, then worse. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, it's not the worst, but yeah, Impact is getting pretty juiced. Dude, Impact Rumble is a fucking problem, by the way. Like, yeah, it will be, it will be. He's always just a problem on this champion. He's good. Really good at it. Uh, he does go down, and well, it was kind of easy for right there, you right. just say Rumble, Volley, no ults. The only other thing that your team can do really is push out a couple waves, and, and those well, waves are going to get easily caught. Actually, it's just going to anyway. complete Zanya here. I'm curious. He gets the two ults Actually, the like, C9 has so much control of the game, they have no way better wards. It feels like TL is getting pushed in quite a bit. And, and Cena's already on to their next round right now. Yeah. Let's see what I happens. I think that's... I mean, this could... I mean, this next couple of rounds... I, I could see the game just being really slow, though. I mean, I could see C9 just, like... Not being super proactive to do something, because it's like... Oh, it's well, are you crazy? Oh, my God. Okay, respect. Also, respect that you went cleanse against Varus when you have Tom Kench. Oh, okay, yeah, TL's just sieging top. Wait, what is this? The TP? TP. Wait. What? They thought they were diving. Yeah, that was a bit of a fun TP. It's not that punishing, though, playing Tom Kench and doing that. Don't face check. TP from Vulcan from mid lane to that top lane brush because he clearly thought I'm not going to be able to get here in time I have to go immediately before they get there to be able to save him oh, I think wow. it's a pretty close game I think it can go yeah. either way honestly yeah I feel like I Labra has the potential of just hitting the, the super random you know like he just he has the potential of just like kicking APA in in like a super slow paced game sometimes Lee Sin just gets like one good play and it's GG oh my god oh my god it's so good for TL oh, uh, not now though because Labra is getting fucking destroyed Oh, they all live though. Wait, 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 wait has Berker, ulti Berker. still. Team Liquid ain't gonna grab anybody just quite yet. Man, Senna damage is ridiculous to me. Yeah. Support, by the way. So cocky there, too. He's... <clears throat> oh, Yon. Oh, yeah, Berserker can be stupid here. Nice. I, I like oh. it. C9 actually knows when they can they can walk and be stupid on the mid wave. Because they outrange so hard. Yeah. With Quay, Senna, they, they, they are definitely, like, forcing TL to find an engage. They actually played that skirmish or team fight really. Really well, honestly, that gives me hope for them. I, I was gonna say I favor TL a lot, but this game, but I actually think, like, after watching that, I'm like, wow, I could see how C9 wins, you know. Now, now AP is online, though, I think. He's, uh, spiked yeah. up now. I feel like Triss mid is weird, though, because even when you get really fed, it's just like having a second AD carry. Like, mo a lot of times mid laners will create space or, like, open up fights, but Triss is legit just, like, AFK front to back still. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I often find myself on Triss just, like, kind of jumping sideways. Not like obviously like directly in, but jumping like sideways in a fight so I can take like a different angle and be like weirdly annoying. Yeah. Because it's like the only way you can like actually do something other than just hitting the closest target. Man, APA loves playing these champs that just demolish turrets. He's actually so. He's getting so oh. Bad. Oh, Berserker starts the fight half HP. Vulcan uh, might be going in. Us. Wait, okay. Flash out. Can he? He, he gets stunned anyways. Oh, oh, oh my god, shut down! That's, that's like 900 for JoJo. How does this always happen? They like fucking fight 4v5 and APA is splitting. It happens every playoff series. I saw TL. 
Yeah, it's very strange. I mean, I think it's a lot of gold tier though. Got tier two though. But it's still not worth. Impact oh, gave shutdown and had to use flash. I mean, it's just what Eugene said. Okay, but like, but like, what the fuck was Impact doing? Like, I, I don't think like that was so troll. If he just takes a small victory and doesn't do that. To oh, oh, this is so smart by TL. This is so smart by TL. C9 has no idea. What a great oh, they're call. They're it. They're pinging it now. Uh, it's, it's too late. It's too late. It doesn't matter. Is it too late? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh no, Yan is acting. Yan is acting. They don't know. They don't know. Yeah, what a smart Yon was play. acting. That is actually so genius. Yeah, this is like a Trist win con, actually, because you do shred Baron. Wow. Wow. Okay. So smart, so smart. That's that's actually the dividends of TL playing hard for Baron on that last round and C9 having all their wards on both sides for Drake. We took a tower there. Yeah, we lost one top. You know, it's so that would have never happened if Impact didn't like suicide on mid. It's like one of those things that just works out. Genius, genius. Impact knew. He probably, dude. He must have made the call. I mean, we don't know, but we're gonna have to give credit to him now. I think they haven't muted at this point, bro. Oh, why did Vulcan not want to W in on that? That was weird. Nice Impact, Impact. Hook. Impact's ulti. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> oh, Blabber. Oh, APA, APA is so fat now, by the way. He is like... He's Thanos. Giga fed. He's yeah. Giga fed. Yeah, he, he, he got so much gold. It's last two rounds. It's crazy. He doesn't want to be nine this, then like I, I don't know, dude. Actually chase down Blabber because Blabber used everything. The flash kicker to kick in impact, thinking that maybe if we take down this. Yeah, he's gonna have LDR in base right now. Three items, Tristana. Three items, Tristana, dude. He's so huge. I mean, this is almost a perfect Triscom, isn't it, Eugene? Like that, that they have four CC champions on every other role. Uh, yeah, yeah I, think, I think the Rumble pick is honestly huge. I think Rumble just like opens up the fight so well for Triss. Yeah. Like, Varus Nautilus is one of the highest CC bot lanes you can have. They have like facilitating jungle. It's a good game to play Triss. It's a good Triss comp, yeah. You kind of know the only way you're going to be able to stall them is actually by taking it by killing them off, you know, getting them off the map. Dude, this yeah, is I'm not crazy. a big fan of. Uh, I'm honestly not really a big fan of. Then a TK much anymore, especially when TK falls behind this hard. He's actually not tanky, and not useful. It's really all about if Santa can out carry the enemy AD though. Possible. Yeah, I mean, like, can you out carry Varus? Yeah, he's like, pretty, pretty good this game, too. The, oh my God, he I feel like C9 like down three, is just getting levels, exploded but too fast now. <laughs> they have too much damage on Team Liquid <laughs> at this yeah. point. Yeah, they can just stat check. And then there's just like a Renekton on TL's team. I don't think this game at all is on Fudge, but I think get him off Renekton for game three. I don't know why, it just feels wrong. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Team Liquid invading this bot side jungle again. Really Just play back the old classics. Put Fudge on like Lee Sin top with Ignite from MSI. Put Blabber on Kindred. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Jojo on like Yone or Akali. Oh, wow. Uh, and got them pushing and got the super early tower for TL. Yep. Really big reason why they are in the mid game that they are in right now. I can't now. believe Voli went easy for one. Split push, Koenig against only Hue. On APA is back and available, so I, I guess it's, I guess TK as well. Minions while the rest of the team tries to just kind of safely keep up their pressure on I have not seen that Adam on Joel in a while, yeah. As soon as Cloud9 members move up and just buy APA more I'm going to assume he just feels like if he doesn't get bursted by Hue, it's going to be a fine game. What about Jojo's build? Do you, do you wait, wait, wait. Like, wait. Wow. What's going on? Wait, wait, what's going Does APA actually lose if he just turns around and starts beating oh, his ass? No. Wait, like, that's kind of, Jojo's kind of crazy, but I like... Doesn't Jojo just no. die? Okay, my bad, um, no, he does not. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's just so awkward. This is what, um, Cupic builds. Cupic the goat. Cupic the goat? Okay. That guy is the goat. That guy is the goat. I mean, if Cupic like builds it, then I, I think it can't be bad, but... No death cap, no void on four items? 
I, uh, mm. I opened up all chat during that yeah. 1v1 for No, I, I agree. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like Leandry's is, is like a really good item for play though. It like gives you even more survivability, but it doesn't feel like you're hurting on damage either. Oh, I see. I mean, that, that it's fine. Must be good. Oof. I don't know, man. What is C9's win con now? I mean, I think they if they kill APA early in the fights, then there's a decent chance they'll win after. But right now, APA does more damage than like two carries combined. They need a fight where like Triss is not free hitting the whole time and like Huey and Senna get to actually play the fight slowly. I don't know if that can happen though. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that rumble. That rumble is just risk. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, 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 it's over. It's over. It's so good. It's so good. It's like so over. It's not even funny. Rumble ulti legit soloed three players to one HP. I mean, Rumble ulti alone just like solo killed Santa pretty much. That's that's Drake. Go Drake. Yeah. Impact hit the monster. I feel like you know a team is like not that confident when they by default stack up on each other. Because like if you have a lot of confidence and you feel like you're like you're locked in, you won't stand on top of your teammates because like you'll naturally feel like you're going to dodge anything that comes at you. This has been happening like every fight, by the way, not to this extent though, but Rumble ulti hits the backline every fight. The backline has to run and then it's so easy to just hit front oh for everyone. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was crazy. Berserker would have died if he didn't ult. He gave himself a small shield. Fuck. Loki, I... I mean, APA could have just ignored Renekton and jumped onto Senna there and probably triple killed, but it's all good. You can see the look on Fudge's face, on Mithy's face. It's starting to sink in that this game is probably over. Holy shit, man. to try to pull off the reverse sweep here. As that equalizer, you know, cooked up Berserker, but also... I mean, can they even do... They cannot do shit about the Sparring. Like, they cannot. They can test the Sparring, the game's over for them. But if you don't contest the Sparring, the game's over, I think you have to. TL. Yeah, Maybe yeah, they have to try some miracle. I mean, I know it's uh, oh my, Berserker is always getting hit by hooks. It's so no, funny, no, no. bro. Yeah. It's so funny. Core is back. I'm sorry, Core is back. Core is back. Core is back. Oh my god, I'm getting hooked again. <laughs> no, there's no, no, no way. No, 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 there's no, actually no, no. no way, guys. Core is back. Core is back. This is I don't so care. so funny, man. This I don't care. It's happening. I don't care. Core is back. Yeah, no, no. And Core is back. He would have wiped them, but he canceled his own jump with flash there at the end. It's kind of oh, like his flash from last game. It's kind of funny. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, whatever. Holy shit. I, this it's is pretty message. over. Holy shit, bro. This must feel so good if you're on in Core. Like, yeah. you're just fucking destroying these guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this engage, bro. Look at this core JJ special. How does it keep happening? Oh, no, 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 no. Here's what I don't understand. Why is C9 always stacked on one pixel where Rumble can get a four man ulti every single time? Like, you only position like that when you're completely lost in the game. You have to play like relaxed, you know? Like, everyone take their own position, hold their spot. Like, you're ready to dodge something. You're just stacking on top of your teammates, hoping they'll block the hook for you or something. Like, you're gonna lose. Yeah. Oh my god, the coach is like, yeah, this game's over. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna go shit out. I'm just gonna go take a shit. I mean, that's a good idea. If you're gonna have to do it, just do it now. The game is over. Yeah. Wow. You know, there's a, a series of movies starring Denzel Washington called The Equalizer, where he's an old man. Oh, now the C9, <laughs> C9 enjoyers are using my own quote against me. Spring Split doesn't matter. You know what? Uh, I can't, I mean, it's it's true. Spring Split really doesn't matter. We scale up for summer, boys. C9 is, uh, C9 is uh, doing this so they can bank up their wins for summer. Genius. Oh wait, the fucking long flank. The big croc. It's coming. Berserker. Oh my god, Berserker! Almost. Holy shit! Almost. I got so scared. I got so scared on that hook. Yeah, Fudge, you win these, you win these. God. Now trust me, you win this. It's rough. They know it's over. They're trying, but it's over. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying, but it's over. Fuck.
Reaper, and this man's looking like a pair of scissors. Team Liquid pushing down the mid lane now. The tier three turret will crumble Holy shit, immediately man. as C9 scrambles. Just the thing is, it's like, is, it really is just TLs being a better team. Like, it really is. It's not like Wait. someone on C9 is completely shitting the bed or something like that. It's just like, all of them are just playing better. I, I think like. the Baron sneak was so huge, honestly. Yeah. This is Team Cap. Wow. It's okay, C9 can go in next game. Oh, now Jojo gets hooked. Oh my nah, god. No, this shit is like, like a core is like spell, apparently. Or is just back. He's Core finally so fucking back. back. His, he his hooks are heat seeking. They're deadly. Dude, holy shit. What a game. What a fucking game. A little, a little Tristana jump off the stage. <laughs> Dude, he like he's, insta He's just Tristana jumping like, everywhere. <laughs> like in game, out of game, <laughs> in chat. He's like an ASL W. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No more Renekton. Holy shit. Holy shit. APA is solo splitting again. <laughs> Down the hallway. Damn, I mean, what do you play if you're C9? They look so, like, lost in 5v5. Like, when when uh, Jojo's on Assassin pick, like Carry pick, a Kaleone, they can't make it work. But when he's on a Mage, it's not working either. Of course, like, look how fucking back I am. I'm the fucking GOAT. <laughs> Holy shit. APA Peepo run. Okay. TL doesn't need any help. They are shitting on C9 so hard. I, I, so let's give C9 some help. What do we think they should do differently? Uh, is Fudge Nectin a problem, or should we just get him off it because it's not working? Or like, I don't, I don't think he's the problem. That, that's that's my opinion. I just think, I don't think he, so he's not, either. he's not like doing anything good or bad. It's just like Fudge Nectin always felt weird to me. That's all. I, mean, I, did think I think keep Blabber on like Lee or something. I think that there were signs of life for sure. To me, like, I think like, mid lane. <laughs> don't put this guy in like Claire Oriana. Like, like actually just let him play a Kali or something. It's elimination game. But like, fuck, dude. APA's pool is like really good against those types of champions, especially yeah, like he'll just farm and scale. Oh, Jojo's so smart, man. He actually knew. He actually knew. Um, Coach Lena says they need Berserker to do damage. Honestly, true. I mean, he's been playing Kalista and Senna. These champions are like not really hard carries. Berserker is like a Zeri guy, yeah? Or like a Jinx guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jinx. He's, like a, a Felios, he's like a Felios, <laughs> Zeri, um, Draven. Like, he plays hard carries. Yeah, can we let the man fucking pump already? Why are we shackling him? Can we lock in yeah. Jinx Orn? Can we just lock in Jinx Orn? I don't know. Jinx Orn? <laughs> like, I, I actually think they would have a higher chance winning. Like, Jinx is not even that bad right now. Yeah, they're like... Can we just go back to the fucking roots? Like, honestly, like, can we just... <laughs> he, he needs something with the dash for the hooks. I mean, he played Lucian against Nautilus, and that didn't go well either. I think, I think honestly, Berserker's counter is just Nautilus. No, like, to support TK to eat him, because it's it's the strat, and then he plays Jinx, and then we have frontline Scion or Orn, and then mid lane Azir, and it's like, there we go, you know? I think one of the there we go. Just that easy. Isn't Azir still disabled? <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> That's why C9's losing, actually. Holy fuck. Oh, fuck. I think Berserker plays something super late game and put Jojo on Nico to, like, smooth out early mid. Because, like, Jojo will always randomly win them one fight with Nico ult and Flash. So then the, the benefactor has to be Berserker on, like, a hard carry champ. That's what Poe Belter would do for me. He would be my little kitten, my little pookie bear. Yeah, just please like make one play. We need to make some plays. No, no, but like you'd be the guy making the play, and then I would be like the scale for late game kind of dude, you know, chilling, vibing, yeah. getting items. Yes, sir. Never gonna forget Poe Belter Malzahar versus Maple Swain. 
plays very similar. He did not know what was coming. Dude, that, I think that was the game we got four both. Dude, that was a game where it was completely over. And we somehow won. And Ole, dude, Ole was playing Janna. You know that? <laughs> you must have learned from Yo, you know what I remember from MSI? I played Yasuo. We had Joey in because I don't know what happened. And we lost our butt turn in like seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was playing Yasuo, and I went like 0 and 8. <laughs> I was like trying to push out Silent and I got collapsed on like 10 times in a row. Well, what can I say? It's mid-gap. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up this game. I'm pulling up this game. No, no, no. It was a scrim. It, it wasn't It wasn't oh. a stage game. Uh, no, it was a real big. stage game. Wait, wait, really? Wait, wait, wait seriously? Yeah. It was a stage game? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it might have been the game. Wait, were we, I was playing with Joey, and we were versus um, were we against Flash Wolves Morgana, and he was playing. Yeah, Brom. yeah, we played like Brom. We had Brom. Yeah. Oh my God, we had we had Brom against Morgana, like FF. I'm like, okay, I'm up like 10 CS, lane is going pretty well. I check bot turret HP, and then it was like an allied turret has fallen. Yeah, you know that wasn't our finest, my my finest performance, but uh, you know, Ole was the heart of the team, so without him, we were lost. Yeah. And I also just think you know what was funny though was uh when we were in the hotel and there was no air conditioning it's like a hundred degrees and we're all we all had to take off our shirts because it was so hot and none of us could focus because it's so fucking hot inside do you remember that um i actually don't was that sounds like a pretty hot was there like any like drugs involved where we were taking off our our clothes and just like hanging out together I just remember it was super hot and we were all tilted. So that's the and we were all shirtless. <laughs> there was a lot of pent up uh, emotions in that room. I think. Yeah. I see. I fucking memory. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's coming back to me now. Were we in Amsterdam? No, it was in Berlin. For Sorry, yeah, we're okay. Okay, yeah, we're in Berlin. Okay. To this point, the hotel where they served the sushi with asparagus. Oh my god, I remember now. Holy shit. No, that, that place was criminal. That place is criminal. We I found out that that visit to Europe that it's like kind of normal for places in, in Europe that are kind of old to just not have AC. And I was like, this is... I mean, then Europe is, is a third world country. What can I say? <laughs> Europe is a third world country. So true. Quote it. Frame it. Put it on your wall where Europe is a third world country. I'll be back. I need to go. I need to go bathroom. What? Third world country Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm this being guy. honest. And for you people at home, I'm just telling you. You people. I, I promised you guys that I would get you guys a patoga if you wanted it. That QR code right here, that's your patoga. <laughs> it's a nice, you can go to sleep in it. Shame. You can go to work in it. Yeah, wow. If you're at home, you're taking a meeting call, you can be in a goddamn patoga. So go for it. Go ahead and take it. You have a chance to Absolutely win if you scan shameless. that QR code. Go ahead and get it. Well, you guys, we'll see you guys after the break. <laughs> <laughs> more ground in the Kia Sportage Turbo Hybrid. Kia, movement that inspires. Look what I've just made. The perfect pearl. Not too bad, but check this out. <sighs> Whoa, a true Venus clam. Red Bull gives you wings. The new Red Bull Sea Blue Edition with the taste of Juneberry. Wings for every taste.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to finals weekend here at LCS and the spring split of 2024. We are potentially one game away from the end of this series. Team Liquid is currently up 2-0 against C9, and they've been pretty convincing so far. They have been looking really, really good. I'm convinced, actually. I'm extremely convinced, <laughs> yeah. I'm 100% convinced. Let's see if they can change up the draft here. Maybe, like, you gotta go something crazy on red side. You gotta get some some big counter pick. I mean, uh, the Renekton didn't do a whole lot. I kind of like what Zven was saying about maybe just counter picking top and playing ADTF or something like that to really mix up the picks yeah. of the game. But honestly, it's not about the picks for me. It's not about the draft. It's not about anything like that. They've just been straight out, out team fought, out macroed, out thought, out executed. It's just been, deals just way better. They got, they out macroed C9 with one teleport versus three teleports in the previous game. Also worth pointing out, this Nico and Ari have been permabanned by TL throughout this series. They will not let JoJo play them, despite the fact that he had a much better game two than game one, playing the Hui versus the Orianna. Ooh. He still could not be the carry. The Callista remains banned away from Berserker. <laughs> that change was made in game number two. Yo, C9's listening to Peter. They picked Nami Lucian. And, oh, and they banned Nautilus. Holy Paris fucking shit. Third game in Ziggs is open, though. To your mid -lane Might be over. I mean, TL just gets Varus again. Like He's like Yon's best champ right now, and ages, they're performing on it. So, GG. Everything always no, I don't know. To Jojo. And they get six. Okay. Or something like that in yeah. the pre-game lobby for this game. Well, he was going super hard. He was like, "You well. want you want a vacation that bad, Jojo? Mm. Maybe a Victor game?" Um, <laughs> I love the, the Photoshop. Photoshop. <laughs> Thank you, Twitter. That one's so <laughs> perfect. You're not now, how do you counter? How do you counter Ziggs? I'm looking at OPGG right now. It cannot be allowed. It cannot be allowed like this, right? Like. What are we picking, Eugene? What are we picking? I gotta say, Jinx. <laughs> Yasuo. We have to play Yasuo. Holy fuck. Katarina. No, we have to pick Katarina. <laughs> Katarina. <laughs> we have to pick Katarina, dude. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm trying to find this. This, it was MSI 2019? No. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to look at the game. <laughs> MSI 2018. Okay, hold on. Curse game. Fuck. It's too hard to find. Which they used so effectively in game number one uh, to outrange, and they played the early stages really well too. Not getting uh, <laughs> behind, not giving Cloud Nine any sort of so early goal funny, to work though. with. So uh, I have supreme confidence in them to do it again. One price. Honestly, Bandage Yasuo out. makes a lot of sense, but you definitely can't just like whip that out. Because of the nature. But like Zin's out Yasuo, you like you charge the Q and then you eat Q <laughs> knock up and the LT like holy shit. Holy shit. Wow, Jax and Cassante banned. Now's the time to really try to cook something up and to try to get some momentum going in this series. And I feel like if you're saving red side fifth pick for top lane, which you should, having already seen the enemy mid laner, it can't be freaking Renekton. It's mm. gotta be something. Two top lane bands. Or more specific. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Trucker or He's not allowed. He's not allowed yet. He's not until another pass. We can't play him yet. I wish. I wish. I wish. Otherwise, that's the one time that I would actually be down with it. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen. I'm down for the ego pick of Kali, actually. Wait a minute. Is that a JoJo Pew? Karma myth? Um, and we'll see what they want to pick for this mid lane matchup against the Ziggs. Akali is still available. If they want yeah, to okay. Well, uh, I don't know, dude. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. What do you think about this? I don't really know, man. I think it's like... <laughs> I don't even think the matchup is good. I don't see how you hit Ziggs. Ziggs can hit you, but it's really hard to hit Ziggs. No, but aside the matchup, like, we have JoJo playing Karma, dude, like... Yeah, what is happening? What? How did we go into... How do we cook... We went back to the drawing board and cooked this shit up, bro. Like, I don't know anymore, man. I think it's a pretty mad pick. What happened to JoJo, guys? He used to be that guy. He used to be... That Yone, Akali, Silas, Ari player. He used to, he used to be him. And he's fucking Karma. <laughs> so we, we we paid like fucking a million dollars for JoJo so we could go to playoffs and put him on Karma and lose in peace. 
And hope for the Let's best. Let's go, yeah. guys. So good draft. What is the fudge going to pick? Chase, 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 Chase. No way. No way. No way. Olaf. Olaf or Chase? I think Olaf. Yeah. Olaf, Olaf. It's oh, yeah. Olaf. That looks good. Oh, Karma Olaf. Oh. Classic C9 combo. Okay, wait, hold Blabber on. Blabber needs to give him Zinzao top and then just play yeah. Olaf himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. if Blabber Honestly, plays though. Olaf, I believe. Fudge Packer is not an Olaf player. He just fucking goes in top and rush tabbies. And <laughs> nothing <laughs> Yeah. Like, you'd really be chilling, by the way. I could see how they can run them over, but I could also very easily see I feel like I feel like TL like OMT is such a smart fucking player, no? Like Fi is such a great pick against the Shinami. Not picked that often either. Um, Vi with the double R combo with, with Ziggs, is that legal? You can hit the oh, yeah, good power damage. Hi, stand the stage, they need you. They need high shot calling. If you're running a comp like they need high shot calling, they need pull bolt like drafting yeah, and in game sense. Get on stage. Wait, didn't you like coach CL for a little bit, speed, Eugene, at some point? I did, yeah. How's that? Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. There was like, uh, I played jungle for a while actually. I like coached for a few weeks and they were like, holy shit, we need a jungle. And then I was just playing jungle. You can do it all, Eugene. I remember your Elise, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it was deadly, it was deadly. It was season 3 jungling style. No farming, only ganking. Respect, though. With the rel coming over the top, you want to be diving on to Yawn, you want to be diving on ABA. If that counter engage comes through, it's going to be tough. Oh, I thought, Impact is trying to bait. Fuck, what was I going to ask, though? I feel like oh, yeah, like. Acting a little bit oh, coach. oh, he's dead. He's no flash, yeah. He's no flash. Oh, my God. Ignite? Oh, he's out. He's out. He started W. W. I mean, w. I mean, okay. Like. Yo, who's who's that Chinese streamer who just like calls out what he's doing at all the times? So he's like Q W. Beifang. Beifang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Shao Chao W E. Wow, Fudge is gonna be late to lane, and he's W star, and he has no sum. I mean, impact. Well, just TP. Fuck too, it. But... Just TP. No. It doesn't matter because he's W star. No. Okay. I mean, it's I don't. So I don't think. I don't think he misses XP. Does he? He no, but impact in impact is to touch the wave first. Like if 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 Fudge can hit level two first, still with W start, which is possible by the way, then it's not as bad. But now that if impact gets level two first in this matchup, it's so good for Renekton. Oh, well, he's trying to deny a creep. Can you guys imagine how over the game would be if Karma starts E and Olaf starts W and he still dies? <laughs> like, they are so lucky they live with one HP there. This whole matchup for Olaf, you're supposed to be able to bully Renekton oh, really, really, really hard. Early game. I see. So the fact that Impact can just farm the first two waves like this is like, wow. Huge. We're much happier with how we're playing at the moment. Sweet. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And we're going to be sending this straight to the casters. Hmm. And Spawn definitely a Fudge? big critic, you know, of himself, Fudge bullying? Of team. He's always going to be looking for that, that extra... I have not seen that one before. The, the optimization. Up on the screen hmm. Was, you know, when are we going to see the TL coach Wait, we don't... Well, come on, we got to get so XP on that, Melee. We got to get XP on that. Done yet. Uh, and I know he's definitely very focused on that. Yeah. Uh, Spawn so is it is it fucked if if uh, Olaf doesn't get ahead early? Or does he have uh, like a turning point where he'll win anyway? I think he can have a turning point, but it's still like, it gives Renekton a chance to like win the lane at level 4 and 5. Because like, both of them are going to be locked in lane at that time. Like, usually Olaf can like cheater recall. Like, usually you don't even go TP in this matchup as Olaf. Like, you just cheater recall on Renekton and then you just fight him on the bounce. So now it's like a really weird, like now Renekton cheater recalled on Olaf. So... It's a really weird lane state where, like, Olaf can push this wave on the bounce, but Renekton can, like, thin the wave, and then, like, I don't know, he just is really, really stabilized until 6, and I think Renekton wins at 6. Like, he can actually kill Olaf at 6. And you then think Renekton is better at 6 than Olaf? Yeah. 
Yeah. Do you have to like save yeah. your empowered W for the Olaf shield, or does that not matter? Um, you can just no, it, that doesn't really matter. I, I feel like it's, you just short trade because you you can actually win short trades as Renekton with uh -huh. healing. You have better sustain as well. Okay, yeah, Blabber's here to make sure Fudge crashes. Make sure he doesn't die like on this bounce. Well, on this he wouldn't up. die. He wouldn't die on the bounce. But like, you see what Impact's doing, where he's just like kind of trimming the wave and like kind of trying to make it crash. Like, basically as slow as possible and like delay fudge to base because like if he keeps fudge on d-blade it's like really good for him basically yeah oh, that makes sense. ruby crystal is pretty defensive for an ectin no Ooh. yeah yeah it is pretty defensive wow I mean, he could have gone long sword but Mid is just like AFK as well. Just yeah, pushing. it's like AFK farm matchup. I feel like nope. Zig's AFK farm is a bit better though. And Zig's, you yeah. can actually poke out Karma. Yeah. Oh, is he going to freeze it? For, yeah, he has to. And then he'll force TP that way. Oh, he might even oh, walk cooked. in and cancel him with W. Oh, he misses those. We cooked the uh, Zig's counter. Wait, by the Jojo way. is going to do the rage, stay for the extra wave, and die strategy. Core Q flash. Core Q flash. No? Q flash. This could be him dying. Try, just try. Make him flash. Okay. I like it. I like it. With Rel, like, uh, that's totally fine. Yeah, you can always see those plays coming because as soon as you start your Q animation on a Rel, that's also a huge mind game. There's no way he's queuing you against Rel. Uh, or he can just not flash as well. And Jojo has to flash. You'll look like really silly if the enemy laner doesn't flinch and like doesn't flash for it. Sometimes you can just fish out free summer spells like that, but that takes like the extra level of mind games. And this one is the damn. It's, it's all these little, it's all these little tiny things. Like just looking where APA based, he based in a way where it would be impossible for him to get canceled. And then Jojo went for the greedy base and actually got punished for it. Now he has no flash against Vi. He's probably gonna die honestly if the enemy team yeah. wants to kill him. Um. I think it's okay. Karma, Karma can be pretty defensive. Like you can just save your mantra, and then you can mantra W as you get king, and you're usually okay. Oh. And uh, Lucian Nami is losing lane to Varus Rel and losing Drake. But at least C9 got Grubs. Woohoo, Grubs! Players have been preferring like Tabby and Nami Lucian. You think that's good? Um, I, I've never done it before, I can't say. Just like thinking about it, it doesn't sound like it would be good, but then again, if Nami Lucian can't one-shot you, then you probably are going to win the long trade. Oh, he's going to... Oh, dude, I fucking hate that. Getting bounced into turret. Maybe you do. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a hater of this elixir shit, bro. Like, look, Jojo popped his, and it's like, it's just useless. Like, I'd so much rather have a guaranteed 300 gold in a few minutes. Look at top cap, by the way. Loki, just look at top cap in a counter matchup. I mean, we all knew that Impact was going to shit on Fudge this series. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. Rel roamed mid and Nami Lucian still down ZS. Yeah, and not only that, but Rel roamed mid and blue flash, and Nami Lucian is like... Getting pushed in has no control over the game. Impact? Oh. Is he gonna die? Nope, he's a go. Oh. Wow. Is he gonna die? Oh, no. this, is, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. We we can't we can't be counter picking impacts Renekton blind with impact, Olaf impact, going twenty impact. CS down getting one v three. Wait, he's just. Bro, Loki, he could eat bought time again. Oh my god. This is now this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Now, now Impact shit talking. Like, you've unleashed him. Like, honestly, like... like <laughs> that's, that's a deserved question mark. I, 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 dude, I'm like... I really want to know what was happening to C9 behind the scenes for them to have such a massive, like, implosion. Yeah, that's like mental boom, for sure. Yeah. There's like no other season where I would imagine these players playing like this. This flash right here? Why did the, the flash out of the Karma W is huge. It's huge. Yeah. I thought he was still going to die, but then his Q comes back up. And Fudge goes back in like, ah, I have to kill him. Ah. His ulti timed out? Yeah, his ulti timed out. Wow.
His ulti timed out. That is like such a huge play. I must get something. Please. Like that play alone is enough to make picking Renekton worth it, I think. Yeah. Of course. Get, it all stems from level one, though. It all stems from level one, dude. Like, dude, that, yeah. but how really is does. guys? How can you play Nami Lucian against Varus Rel and not be crazy ahead in lane? I, I can't even explain properly how easy of a matchup this is to stomp. Like, not even just like win, but like stomp them hard because they have Vi as well. Like, enemy enemy jungle is never gonna be a problem until like uh, six seven minutes. Nami have to play well in this matchup, or Lucian, or both? No, Nami's your little kitten. Like you, Lucian just has to play aggressively and whittle them out because you you win sustain war because of Nami heals, and you you usually actually win all in as well. I, I just don't understand how they're getting roasted this hard two v two. Like they're they're At this actually point, just, you can't really win, right? Yeah, because Vi has ulti and hasn't used it on anyone, so you can't just like dash in. But. I don't know, man. Whatever happened early shouldn't have happened. Oh, so oh. Wait. oh. Good. Okay. Good by C9 to survive that. I is here, though. They are just burning CDs. Mm, yeah, that's true. Xin Zhao is um, taking a quick trip to the fountain. Oh, the Ziggsel! What a combo. What a combo. Core is dead. One for one so far. It's actually not that good for Wait, TL. Fudge TP'd. Wait, Fudge TP'd. Yep, Fudgebacker TP'd. This, this fucking sucks. Yo-Yo is here. Oh. This immediately fucking sucks. Like, I mean, Revolution will run top, but Renekton will still get two plates here. I mean, Fudge is out of the game no matter what, right? Wait. Wait. Okay, no, he doesn't know where Blabber is, but... He'll just take the base and get his item, but... Like, he could... Dude, if I'm, like, he had in on Blabber. behalf of Fudge. This is, like, tilting to watch. I'm not gonna lie. This is, like, so tough, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Like, he, he was put on Renekton slave duty for, like, two games. Just, like... It's just like couldn't do anything for two games, and then he gets counter pick. His game is like fucked up from level one. He's just getting like perma fucked. He TP's like this. It's so yeah. tough. <laughs> yeah, like actually pain. Like actually pain. It's like kind of his fault, but like kind of not his fault too. It's just like fuck. It, it, it's like I, I understand why he TP'd there because he felt like he had to. It's not like all just like oh I made a bad choice. Like it kind of felt like he needs to do that. Salvage the play. And making everybody on the enemy I think also it's really hard to tell what's happening in comms because like if your teammates make it really urgent sounding that you need to do something that's how people yeah. end up making like weird plays yeah but also like it could be just like a top lane thing where it's like dude like, I just don't want to be in a lane for a set renekton like I need to leave you know like I just need to leave yeah <laughs> it's so over you know I need to try something but I, I have literally never seen Berserker have such terrible farm. Like, I've scrimmed against him fucking dozens of times, played against him on stage like fucking 10 times. He has never in the, my entire experience playing against him played like this. Yeah. They're just tilted, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just tilted, it's just tilted, yeah. All of them. Something must change for this team. There's no way. Like, I don't know, dude. To get 3 0 3 0 As, like, the super team? I don't know, man. Super teams in NA never work out, I swear. Right, it's true, right? But it's like... It's such a curse in NA. <sighs> but it's still, like, a reality that this was a team made to fucking win, and you're just getting 3 0 in playoffs. Like... It's hard, Yo, man. Is Cleaver Rush legit on Renekton? I saw that versus Cassante, but is it good versus Olaf too? I'm wondering because I, I play Renekton when I'm filled. I don't know. I mean, I, I think... I, I don't really fully understand the logic. Maybe it's because Olaf rushed Tabby, and he's just like, okay, like, if I get Cleaver, it's like, no counterplay, and... And like, yeah, I think I think that's like the main the main logic behind it. But like, this game, he could have gone Eclipse. He was so ahead. I think Cleaver's just like a generic item. Like, it's like... A little bit of everything. I always feel like it's what Renekton's yeah. doing. They're not sure. It I guess like it gives HP. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the big HP. That's it's the like kind of good at everything. I, I think his logic is probably that Olaf has a lot of true damage too. 
in his kit, and it's like, if he goes oh. Eclipse, he can kind of get one shot, too. I keep Zor. So it's like, HP is so good against true damage champs, right? So... Yeah, that makes sense. Because um, it's like, I don't think he built it just for the Tabbies. Like, that doesn't really make sense, because, like, Renekton does, like, so much magic damage as well with ulti, and, like, um... Yeah, like, Tabbies isn't really, like, a huge, huge problem, but... I don't know. It's weird because, like, for ADs, the game is feels really different. Like, having early tier 2 boots actually most of the time sucks. Like, it's only strong on, like, very specific champs, like Zeri. Um, but, like, you try to, like, delay boots as much as possible because, like, so much of your fighting power as an AD carry comes from, like, the other items. But I notice, like, top laners and mid laners are so often just, like, rushing tier 2 boots. Mm, yeah. I mean, I don't think... I mean, if Fudge was playing the game normally, this game, I don't think he would have rushed tier 2 boots, right? But he was kind of I think solo lane matchups, it matters a lot for spacing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But if you don't play that from a commanding position to where you can actually Holy. fully chunk these people out of the fight, then all of a sudden it just kind of stops mad. Deal, Revenge, and Pope in C9 win this series for sure. All right, Berserker, move over, bro. Let me show you how it's done. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm unretiring, actually. <laughs> these are some hype fucking games played at the studio. I get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ty. Yeah. yeah, I can't be negative Nancy, but like, holy shit, bro. We we, we have spring finals at the LCS Arena. That's why. Guys. That's why. See, I'm oh, okay, okay. There's a protest. No protest. motivation. We have no motivation to play because we're not yeah. on the big stage. I'm not even kidding, though. Like, like, a huge percentage of my motivation, I didn't realize it until it was gone, came from playing in on like on a big stage and when it was covid time where it was like quarantine and the match was like online and stuff I, things just didn't feel right mm -hmm. big hit to the motivation i remember reckless did an interview talking about that as well my first year in lcs started that, yeah. like that it started with remote play and i was like wow this feels really weird because yeah like this isn't what i expected being an lcs player to be like and then no. i was kind of not sure how i would feel on stage but when stage came i actually played way better because i felt like more it felt more serious you know yeah i don't know how to describe it the pre-game ritual kind of of like going to the studio and like seeing fans and all that stuff was like it was it made it more real for me mm -hmm. have you seen that meme and it's like the homeless ant and it's like when you like die in lane and then you walk back to lane with the glowing moat i feel like that's fudge right now what no i haven't it's the homeless what the homeless ant meme you haven't seen that i have not seen the homeless ant meme no oh wait is it with that thing like over its back like the <laughs> yeah yeah I need to see this. <laughs> After this series. <laughs> Look at Fudge's items! Still TM up. Like little Hydra. Oh, he's got an item. Holy fuck. Oh my god, he has 120 CS. Yeah. 120 like, how does this happen? How, how can you play these AFK games with 3 kills in 17 minutes and have like 8 CS per minute? It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, well, he started W, so I kind of feel him. Okay, okay, okay. That's I feel for him, but... But like the AD carries were looking like impoverished until recently. Like now they've kind of caught up where it looks reasonable, but like... Yeah. They stole some camps from the junglers. Yeah, yeah. You know how it is. Yeah, those whoa, Raptors whoa, whoa, are looking whoa. good for me. Whoa, whoa. Nice, we start the fight off with... Oh. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, oh he God. lives! Umti is too good. Umti is too good. It's just like everything Tails doing is working this game, Loki. Yeah, it seems C9 is just like every play will work every for them. Every play. Oh, oh, okay. oh my God. Berserker's berserkering. <laughs> and he just, Jojo just took his cannon. I, that's grounds for FF. <laughs> I like how you noticed that too. Like, <laughs> I didn't notice that either. <laughs> I mean, they're like sharing. Fudge is just dead. Fudge is just dead. He's just dead. He's just useless, bro. He's just useless. Like, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. Oh, Yon? Lil bro, Lil bro thought he could play Olaf, actually. Yeah. Dude, look. Yon 
fucking just flashed into the plants that all heal the multiple. Like everything that TL does is just working. It's just working, bro. Like they were due. Honestly. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, the six. six. It's a bit of an APA Ziggs moment right now. C9's just getting 3 0'd. I can't focus. <laughs> but, like, it's not that good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's good. <laughs> Dude, it's really, really not that good. Like, we just suck wanna... at playing against it. Oh, that's the one I've heard a lot. It's like, man, it's really not good, but, like, we're just so bad against it. We might as well just ban it. <laughs> <laughs> like okay dude we are not coping i swear i mean it's not fair because umti is it's his first split in na he has not been he hasn't gotten the na effect yet as a korean just give him like another couple of years okay wait can we just like look at look at the drafts for a second and like the player handles and i just see <laughs> i just see lucianami and i see jojo playing karma <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. Like, I actually don't know how this happens. Like, how did we get here, bro? How, did, how the fuck did we get here? I mean, they need to play double enchanters for Fudge to carry. Like, let's get it, Fudge. It's ridiculous, man. Impact is too fucking good. Monos is too. Surdy knows. Yeah, me and Surdy know. Surdy, Surdy Olaf would clear this game though, right? Of course, dude, Surdy Gwen would be a complete menace this game. Dude, actually, so, oh my god. Surdy Gwen. Okay. The R has been pressed on Berserker. Lucian's tickling, Lucian's tickling, Lucian's tickling. Wait. APA just one shots the turret from a screen away. That's very balanced. I think uh, but this is weak. I could, like, if. <laughs> Did you guys know that Surdy was the guy who uh, one shot Niles in top try on that Tyler 1 Rage clip? Oh wait, that was Surdy. That was Surdy. He's the one who made Niles int Tyler 1's game and made him pop off like that. Holy fuck, dude. Without Surdy, history would not have been made. Surdy started drama. Holy shit. Wait, where's Surdy from? Is he from like Australia or some shit? Yeah. They turn their I think he's Australian. And they yeah. Take down. Impact has just been incredible through these last two games, man. Well, yeah. I know a team in need of an Australian top laner. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm American Australian dual citizen? Wait. Not even an import. He's a fucking hybrid, bro. Holy shit. There's like, no the hybrid game. Super Saiyans are the strongest ones. <laughs> he was built in a fucking lab. <laughs> Lucian's dealing damage though. Dude, I fucking hate Karma, man. I think Karma sucks dick. Also, Impact's driving. <laughs> it's fucking base. Oh, Umpty! No. Okay, he just set up a kill. My bad. No, no, impact turns these. He, impact turns these, by the way. Go, 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 go! Oh. No, okay. no, oh, that was no, no, he can't. That was underwhelming. Wait, Yawn! Oh, wait, yawn! 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 yawn, yawn. Oh, oh my god! Oh my my god. god! The C9 might win a fight! For the first my time god. in the series, they might win a fight! Wait! For wait for it! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Arma shields. Oh, wait, wait, impact, oh, impact, oh, Renekton's oh, not that OP anymore. Whoa, 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 Dude, if Gore Drinker, if Gore Drinker was in the game still, like, he said he's dead. <sighs> oh, if Gore Drinker was in the game. <sighs> Dude, quit fantasizing about old items. No, but I'm sorry, but like, there's such an angle there, and he knows it too. He's playing like it too. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, in his mind, in his mind, he was playing like it too. Like, I I'll show you the moment, like, when it comes up. Like, oh, dude. This feels the worst. Like, someone died for free, got caught, and then he's like, still try to turn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, we can win. They used everything. Okay, but like, what is Yon doing? Wiped, what is Yon doing? What is Yon doing? Like, Yon is Yon him. Yon is him. Just pissed all dude, over the Yon is so him. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Is this the start of the reverse sweep? No, no way. I think the second you said Karma is a shit champ, the, okay, the okay. universe had an answer for you. E I need to or drink or drink there. Oh. Mythy's like, holy shit, drop security for another split. Let's go, guys. Fucking Karma and Lucianami is working. Because if the Lu if the Lucianami Karma draft does not work, like you know who's uh, you know whose head is on the chopping block. The guillotine is aimed at Mythy. Okay, look at this. Wait. Nah, wait, Karma's wait, so wait, useless, wait, man. Oh, the double wait, level! Oh my God, Vulcan did something! I didn't know it was possible. Wait, Blabber died? How? Fuck. Yeah, wait, Blabber, Blabber oh my, whoa, whoa, whoa. exploded, dude. He fucking. 
Wait, wait, wait. Mech's gonna get a flash W angle. Wait, 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 wait. Berserker's kind of. Oh, 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 oh. He's kind of flexing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, is or... what is he doing? What is he doing? Q. Oh, oh, oh. he's oh. dying. He's dying. Wait. He's just dead. Wait. Mithy? He's just fucking dead. Mithy, why he... did we draft Lushunami? GG. Oh, GG. GG. I guess we lose Chemtech Soul for that. It's so. Yep. Sorry, guys. My mistake. I was just flexing with Rapid Fire against uh, Ziggs. I thought it would be good. Honestly, the start of that, like the start of that fight, I thought it was going to go way better for C9. I thought they just turned the game. And then Blabber got one shot instantly, and I was like, wait, okay. Um, but Berserker now, overheated so hard. He's like, <laughs> he's like trying so hard to make the super play. <laughs> he's looking overheated. That's okay, that's okay. It's just Chemtech Soul. We're chilling. We, we outskill. Yeah. Guys, guys, honestly, at least it's, at least it's not Hextech, right? Like. Let's yeah, yeah. Chemtech yeah. is look the weakest soul. It's not over. Look at Bob, bro. Look at Bob, bro. It's true. It actually isn't over. It actually isn't over. Oh my god. Wait, if MT hits that, does anything else change about it? What happens to Bob, bro? Does he not have R? Oh, he R. Wait. Oh. oh MT died, died in mid MT, unfortunately. Okay. But everything's fine. It's like one for one, and then and then some crazy things started happening. Look at Impact. It's Impact here threatening. The anime, the anime music started playing in Berserker's eyes. He was like, holy shit, this is why we picked Lucian. Nami. this is my time. Honestly, he was scared of Impact because Impact had E flash W on him, and he saw oh, yeah. he knew the spacing Thank of that, so he had to cut down that way. And he's like, GG, you yeah. know. He was a scary croc, yeah. Yeah, he had E flash W, and for sure. He was asking if Renekton has flash. I would at that point probably start blaming my teammates, anyways. Be like, why didn't anyone tell me Rel stud ulti? <laughs> oh wait a minute! Wait 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 a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah, the the tickle, I mean, the tickling. I mean, this is no, look at the angle. Look at the angle. Oh it's so good. whoa! It's so good by Umpty. Like oh. it's a five for zero. Oh. It's not just a five for zero, oh. oh, dude. I think oh, C9 dear. wants to go vacation fast. Oh goodness! Wow, this is it, right? C9's out. Yeah, they're they're they're, yeah, done. they're they're done. They're just done. Not dude. just on Twitch. They are done. Holy shit. This is crazy. I didn't Wait, know. Fudge, this is why you picked no. Renekton. Oh, so close, so close. Just the wow, bonus in. Actually, Serdi is playing on C9's downfall. Holy shit. Actually, when you're like a player in a position, you, you kind of have like some sort of sadistic enjoyment of seeing the other players in your position play like shit because that like increases your stock relative to them. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that shit anymore, but is that not true, guys? Like, if you watch nine other mid laners or top laners trip over their own shoelaces, it kind of gives you some satisfaction. If it's, like, someone I didn't like, maybe. Oh, really? Oh, you're, you're a nice yeah. person, Eugene. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, who... <laughs> <laughs> Who are you getting satisfied? You're, seeing, you're satisfying Fudge running it down or what? No, no, what I mean is like, like let's say you're still an active player, right? Like you're still uh -huh. in the LCS. Yeah. And you, you watch the other players like start playing like shit in your position. It, it's it's like a good sign for you. Okay, honestly, honestly, like I'm retired, right? But I'm still like, when I talked to C9 this offseason, because like I knew they were like kind of wishy-washy about top, right? I talked to them and they were like... They didn't even ask for my VODs, bro. They basically just told me to rope myself. And mm. and I was like, honestly, honestly, bro, it feels kind of good seeing... It, it feels kind of good seeing this now. So it's like, you know... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, even though I'm retired now, I'm like, it feels kind of good. Like, it feels kind of good. Because they're just like, they just didn't even... Bro, they didn't even want to look at a VOD, bro. They didn't even want to look at a VOD. See, revenge, revenge has that evil villain mindset. Like, Eugene, you're too nice, bro. Like, uh, if Pobo's just like, I hope every mid You guys are Machiavellian as far as... I, I hope every mid laner wins the lottery and plays like Faker. <laughs> I mean, I hope they play bad against me. I don't really care how they do in their other matches. Oh, I care. I hope they suffer. It's, no, it, it be, uh, well, well, Lena, what did you say? Peter used to smile when Tactical ran it down. <laughs> because it's funny and because I'm playing against him. So it's like, you know, you know, it's a good sign. That's all I'm saying. It's a good sign for me. Okay. 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 Oh. A few more of these callings and someone might get low. 
That's Vulcan with no alt. C9 backing. Damn, look at APA's damage to objectives. Nah, but they're like, like, like they're just shitting on them. It is what it is. The Ziggs is like, when you're winning, like you just shit on them harder. Cause yeah, yeah. you push turrets in like two seconds. Yeah. But if you're not shitting on them, then you're not shitting on them. You know? Mm. Do you remember when you were benched on Team Liquid? And then Pope was on CLG, I think. Uh -huh. And then they took down Team Liquid and you DM'd Pope. You saved my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do remember that, actually. <laughs> I actually, I remember that, I remember that. Eugene, thank you. You, you guys are playing Bronzodia, I think, right? Oh, wait, was that the Galio? That, that, was, that was the Broxa Finn game, yeah. <laughs> the Vi Galio set, Vi oh, Galio shit. set, and then what was the bot lane again? Good job, Eugene, like, good job. Wait, what was the bot lane with the Bronzodia? It was the Vi Galio. I don't remember. Dude, I remember we did it three games, we like cheesed every single win. We were like, nice, but like, I don't think we can do this again next week. And then, and then everyone was like, no, it's fine, let's just do it. And then mm. we did it the next week, and then we went zero three in stuff. <laughs> People caught on. Fuck. Well, I remember we were versing you guys that week. I, I was on IMT, and um, I remember we were shaking in draft. Right, guys, do we ban the fucking Vigalio? And then my team was having so much ego and saying, no, no, like we shouldn't do it. Like it's so bronze. Like we should verse it. And then we actually somehow won. Like it was like such a hard game, but we somehow won. Oh, it was David. Yeah, insanity. Insanity was was my mid laner. We were both. We were all saying not to ban it. We were like freaking out. Dude, Insanity was shaking. absolutely deadly on the Corky in that meta. Like, I'll never forget. Immortal's Insanity, holy shit. Holy fuck. He took us out. <laughs> David, you remember those? You remember that fucking game? I remember I was playing Jace. I was playing Jace against Set Vi Galio. I was fucking shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, how the fuck did I get here, bro? Like how did I get here? I mean, if you're a good player, you'll find a way. I did. I actually so I actually found a way. But. Okay, it's fudge packing time. Let's go 1v2 versus both solo laners. Oh. This is kind of sad, dude. This is like actually, like, this is making me sad to watch. Like, Why does oh. it sound like you're giggling under your breath? I'm just sad. I'm... I'm, you're, you sound really sad. I'm really sad right now. You're actually, you're sounding a bit oh, depressed. I'm, I'm so sad watching Impact just shit all over C9 right now and make it a giga top cap. I'm so sad. Oh. I think JoJo's damage graph is actually going to look insane this game. But... He hit a lot of Mantra Qs, right? He did. <laughs> yeah, but it just doesn't like lead to anything. I feel like that's yeah. the karma experience. You hit Mantra Q and then like nothing happens. Yeah. Because all you can do is just like Mantra Q them again. Wow. Holy fuck, dude. Plus one, guys. Maybe Lucian Nami will be useful in NA next year. MNS was right, Smudge. MNS was right. Holy Summit shit. Summit was wrong. Holy fuck, dude. Dude, the, the Summit drama with Teal was so funny to me. He just, it was like, so It just good. came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah and and so then, like, funny. randomly in the middle of this year, he was just, like, talking shit again on Twitter. Wait, he was? Like, I didn't like, see the second one. Yeah, he's one. like playing in like Mexico. Tia lost the game. He just he just like replies like a smiley face or something. Just oh my god! Man. Someone seemed like the quietest guy. Like I I had not seen him say or do anything oh, no. conspicuous, and then all of a sudden he just comes out and flames APA. It was so funny. He was like boiling that under the surface. That guy was yeah. a giga demon. I could feel it, bro. I don't know. No, I mean you you know that behind the scenes when he has those those fifteen death scrims, he is raging, like behind is like fucking just like seething but i i just like never heard him say a word until that time oh dude holy fuck oh man that's a brutal way to get knocked out wow well dude. i did not expect a 3-0 today you know 3-0 might be the best thing that happened to me this weekend because the PoE League just came out yesterday. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, let's combine with Sinking Music oh, yeah. Finals, yeah? You're such an addict. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Sure, bro. All right. All right. GG's, guys. GG's. I'll see you tomorrow. It was fun. Later. Bye -bye. Have a great day. Oh, guys. Goodbye. Wait, someone said fudge packing is a term that may be considered homophobic?
really? That true? I mean, I under I know understand what fudge packing means, but I did not realize that it was it was a homophobic term. Okay, you know, I'll stop saying it. I'll stop saying it. I don't want to offend anybody. Um, yes, I know what it means, you morons. Anyways, GG's guys. That was fun. I'll see you all tomorrow. I mean, I don't. I mean, if it has like a homophobic connotation, I'm just gonna say it. There's like other. There's you know, there's there's C9 Sludge. There's there's lots of little nicknames for Fudge. Um, I, I maybe you know. Also, this series is not on Fudge, by the way. I, I feel like I we were picking on him a lot because just like the hilarity of him having Rene like Fudge and Ecton twice in a row into then counter picking Renekton getting fucked, but. The series is not on Fudge. It's not on anybody on C9. I don't think that you should just go out and be like, yo, this one guy is fucking griefing it. Everyone on C9 looks like a shell of their former self, literally. Not a single player is playing. Like, they're playing at like fucking like 40% of their peak, straight up. Um, stream the interview. Nah, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go play PoE, guys. I have uh, I've streamed so many days in a row. I feel, hella, I feel hella exhausted. Oh, also, random story time. Random story time. Dude, yesterday... My gardener, okay, okay, let me give you context. Yesterday, my fucking, um, so you guys know, I don't live at my actual house. I live, this is a temporary house provided by the insurance. And my actual house is going through some long and arduous year long legal battle, like about getting the money that I need to get from the insurance. Basically insurance just will not pay you the amount of money that you need to repair your house unless you get like lawyers and shit involved. So anyways, haven't been at my house for like a whole year, okay? Important context because I live at this temporary house. Anyways, my gardener, who still maintains a garden at my actual house, texted me yesterday that someone had broken in. And he took a picture of our uh, of our glass door. It was completely shattered. Somebody had shattered the door, came into our house, um, and like opened like every single drawer and like picked through everything. Probably trying to find like jewelry and cash, you know, stuff like that. We don't have anything in there, so obviously nothing was stolen, but everything was like rummaged through, every drawer was opened, uh, everything was just like laying about, and also we have to fucking replace the door, which is going to cost thousands of dollars, it's like a very nice glass door, um, and yeah, it was like scary, bro, like I went there yesterday, because I wanted to see if there was somebody still there, yeah, somebody said squatters, and um, there is no, there's obviously, if I had bumped into like, let's say a, a crazy squatter, I, like I might have actually just straight up died, but I was just, you know, I was hoping there was to be no one there. Luckily, no one was there. I just kind of went through, took pictures of everything. And, um, yeah, fucking disgusting stuff. Really sucks. So, uh, pro tip, get some cameras installed if you ever have your own house. Um, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have 24-7 surveillance at all fucking angles of my house. Um, that'll be the next thing I do. But, like, like I'm not going to be living there anyways for a few months, so I have some time to get it set up. Anyways. I'm very lucky where this kind of stuff, like, very, very lucky situation, right? Like, could have been a situation where Lena was home and we got broken into. That would suck. Could have been a situation where a bunch of stuff got stolen. Luckily, nothing got stolen. Um, but yeah. Blows, guys. Living in LA. What can I say? Living in LA. Fucking blows. Um, peace. That was my story. Bit of a bummer story at the end, but I'll see you guys tomorrow for the finals. And um, I'm going to send a message to Sneaky and Medios. See if we can combine. The reason why I didn't even do it today was, you know, sometimes I feel like being in a five-man call is like crazy. It's like being in a fucking zoo. So I want to save it all for the finals. All right. 99, boys. Yep. Stay safe out there and have a good one.